everyone. Welcome to the stream. It's been a while. It's been a minute. It's been a beat or two since I've streamed. Things are getting crazy. Things are getting crazy. The, uh, the complications of owning and operating a business are starting to crash in a little bit. So I spent the entire day sorting through uh, tax bullshit, uh, which I am fairly certain it's not over with yet, but I think the hardest part is behind me. 71st Gene, 71st Yawn, one of the two. Thank you very much for the raid. But you know what? We play video games, so we don't have to worry about that. You don't have to pay taxes in Rune Factory, of which this is the fifth. This is also a, a sponsored gameplay. So, I'm being sponsored to play this, which is awesome because I actually like this series. Uh, what's better What's better than Harvest Moon? Harvest Moon with dungeons and treasure is the answer. First one, like first raid? Oh, first one, Gene, got it. Started Rune Factory 5 today. It's got a lot going on, uh, way more than I expected. It's got, it's got a, hold on a minute, where is it? Find my stats. There we go, skills. It's got a walking skill. You can level up in walking. You can also level up sleeping. <laughs> you can get better at sleeping, which is awesome. Any game that has meters for absolutely everything, I'm okay with. Oh, also, this is very important. Uh, there's a wolf man. He's, he's hot. Uh, he's a, a hot wolf man. I did see him in the bath. I saw his tummy. And it was a very attractive tummy on that wolf man. So, uh... I know what I'm playing for now. I'm going to 3 to mode there. Rotate that around a little bit. Let's zoom in and out a little bit. Yeah. I want to be able to change outfits or something. But anyway, there's a fine array of... Uh of animes, all of which I hope to date and smooch, and maybe hold hands with. Maybe not all. Be real. Not all. This character is a bit of a mystery. Steph and I were discussing this. Um, it has a belt, but it also has, like, hip stirrups. So I was, I was theorizing that she had this, like, kind of pant dress combo, but I think instead they're, like, leggings that go all the way up. And then, and then, like, a thong. They nestle all the way up in there. Anyway, uh, yeah, make sure to use <laughs> make sure to use the rune command in chat. Exclamation point rune for handy links to more information about this game. Sponsor would love it if you would click on that. Oh yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm taking quests and stuff. I've done the first couple, uh, and then I kind of did the thing where you have to talk to everyone in town. And introduced to the whimsical cast of characters in this game. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, the seed captain just gave me a like capture badge or something like a Pokemon style dealie that I can whip at monsters and capture them or make them drop items or whatever. Am I feeling better? I am actually. Yeah. Uh, I woke up this morning and everything was everything was fine. So that's the second time ever that that has lasted like more than a day. Or never completely gone away in a couple of hours. So that's interesting. I think if it happens a third time, I'm gonna have to talk to a doctor about it. Spot a wanted monster. Wear them down. Ah. So there is kind of a Pokemon plant to this. I think you can make mo monsters you capture work on your farm too. I'm not sure about that part. Oh, somebody comparing this to Stardew? Oh, is this anime Stardew? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that's not a bad point of comparison. Uh, like, like Future Time Traveler said, though, it does predate Stardew. Um, and it's, it's got its roots in, uh, JRPG more than... More than something kind of like Minecraft or Terraria, which is kind of where Stardew seems to come from. Although, I, I will say, I haven't played Stardew nearly as much as I should have. I, my... My legacy and my DNA is more in Harvest Moon, uh, which is kind of linked to Rune Factory. That I think Rune Factory was a spinoff of Harvest Moon, right? At some point. Boom! I'm gonna drop the sass. Yeah, I thought so. I'm playing it on DS, 3DS, one of those. 
It was a D and an S involved. Okay. Um, I don't know that I'm 100% clear on how to use this badge thing. It might just be... It might just be a dedicated button? Oh, whatever. Let's see what, what missions await. And see if I can, perchance, run into Wolfman in the baths again. Dang it. Maybe I can pluck my turnips. Oh, also there's a farm dragon. There's just a dragon hanging out up there. Hold on, let's go, let's go see him. Earth dragon. So, I'm on a dragon now. Uh, you can plant crops up here. I guess, depending on... I guess there's multiple kinds of dragons, and different things grow on them. So yeah, you got your dragons, you got your standard farming dragon there. Good game feature to have. I finally did a kind of combat excursion thing. Which is an... it's just an interesting mix. I always love it when, uh, developers find a way to interconnect two seemingly disconnected gameplay types. Persona was always really fun with that. Like, life sim plus dungeon crawl. Uh, and somehow the, like, the two... The two systems weave in and out of each other really well. need to wait until tomorrow because I think I just turned in a quest I bet if I wait until tomorrow something will happen or just talk to her again eh, eh. oh you filled out a survey you got some cash for doing it hell yeah I don't know if I can go to bed at five I'll be a good farmer Hey, what's up? How tough am I? Put on my little jammies. I was, uh... Somebody's asking about the new Denzel Curry album yesterday. I guess it's out. I haven't listened to it yet. Fucking Spotify falling down on the job, not recommending that to me. I love leveling up sleeping. There's no better feeling in the world than getting better at sleeping. That's awesome. Ooh, I knew it would be. I bet the cover art is fucking sick, too. I've loved all of his cover arts. Then again, they're all, like, huge late 90s, early aughts kind of throwback visual styles. It's it's the Y2K Resurgence. The cool version of the Y2K Resurgence I've kind of been waiting for um, is exactly that. His cover arts. It's, it's weird that I haven't seen it in more places. Hina. Look at this anime over here. Oh yeah, I saved her mom, I guess. I am Misa Sagi. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah, there was a my brother has told box me. spirit I had to enter Mortal Kombat with. Not only did you rescue my daughter from the forest, but you came back for me as well. Really doing it. I owe you a great debt. You have my deepest thanks. Got cute bells. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind her. Misa can be a little dramatic, but she means every word she says. Murakumo. That's who we're setting our sights on. Kumo! Her name was Gorgeous Woman. No, I, I... Please forgive me. Murakumo? Yeah? Oh, wait, no, that's the... Misasagi? That's pretty lady. Oh, she's not she's not romanceable. Um, she's a little out of your league, right? Uh, <laughs> pardon me. Bye for now. I guess that's the whole point. Okay. Did you go back into the crystal? What that was all about. I do kind of like this, how you can just sort of tag, tag wanting to do a, um, like a dialogue interaction versus just let it, letting it flow by. I haven't professed my love to anyone yet. I need to do that. 
second. Oh, the text box called her a gorgeous woman. Gotcha. Stupid monitor stream. There. Sorry to say you can't see it, but my wallpaper is of a very grumpy looking cat today. No. It's a great wallpaper. What's my general taste in music? I go through phases. I go through phases. There are certain kinds of music that kind of always always hit pretty well. I like a lot of electronic music. I like specific kinds of electronic music. Pretty uh, pretty standardly. Yeah, 17th century century opera is pretty big. I don't know. There's just so much to so much so much to listen to. It's hard to it's hard to like pin it down. There's some specific groups uh, that I follow. Beyond that, I just do a lot of exploring. There's just, man, you can just listen to new stuff all the time. I never run out of stuff to listen to, which is kind of what I do. What the? Where are you, little guy? Oh. Uh, I need more seeds. Gotta go down to Sneed's Feed and Seed. Also need to hmm I need to start buying recipes because I want to start cooking. I feel like Aphex Twin. Hmm. I have liked Aphex Twin. I rarely reach for Aphex Twin just for listening to. But I ha I have enjoyed It's not exactly pleasant, is it? Most of the time. Like it's interesting, but it's not pleasant. I usually listen I have listened to Aphex Twin and if there's like different Aphex Twin I'll I'll listen to it. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of adjacent to Death Grips, Nick. Now that you say that, I have found listening to it stimulating, but I don't reach for it. Like my my brain rarely asks for it and reaches for it by name. If that makes any sense. Oh, what kind of what did they play on the radio at your job, Pop Tart? I've been pretty lucky with most of my jobs. Staples was the one that played the most repetitive music, but it wasn't bad. Best Buy had a pretty annoying audio loop. It had like a Shania Twain song on it and like a Limp Biscuit song. I don't know what I'm doing. There's no, there's no requests. There is a uh, a Bean Toss festival coming up, which I really, I just really wanted to say Bean Toss. Oops. That was the wrong button. Hold on a minute. Where's minus? Nope. There it is. <laughs> oh, the bean toss is on Wednesday. Okay. All right. So that's something to look forward to. I guess if they just gave you... Uh, I can always just run around and kill stuff, I guess. Level up. Harass the good denizens of the town. Oh. Give you hints. Need to find that wolf boy. He's being a coward. He's hiding. Hiding from me. And my love. Bean toss like cornhole. I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. I bet it is. Like bean bag, right? Gotta be. Oh, always worked in Hispanic areas. All I heard in retail for years was the same 12 reggaeton song. Hey, at least it's got a beat. Keeps you moving and energetic. Are you tracking the town members so effectively? You can see their little faces. Or are you just saying, like, in-universe? I'm a special boy. Uh, they already told me that. I have special power. Special earth power. Helps me, uh, grow things. And I'm guessing through that, through the vibrations in the ground, I can just feel where all the anime is. Yes! Look at that. I got better at bartering somehow. Oh, that's right. I was waiting for that to finish. Uh, I had a quest to ship a tuner, a uh, turnip. I just did. Pop-Tart says, horrible repetitive music from whiny modern pop shit to things I haven't heard since the 2000s, like Evanescence's Most Crying Song, or Avril Lavigne's hit song, Not Skater Boy. Never would have thought I'd hear an awful cover of Numa Numa. Wow. They ruined it. They keep the same songs every day and it loops. 
Jeez. So it's not even like annoying versions of old songs. It's bad covers of annoying old songs. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's grumpy. But Hi there. Oh. <laughs> he ran up to me. She she had a heart though. That's a good sign, right? As a secret fort. Well, now I have to. What? Oh. <laughs> I thought she was gonna go to her secret fort. Hey, quit treating me like a kid. There's an impressive amount of characters in the cast of this game. Is there any chance you're gonna do some content with Death Stranding Director's Cut? Fuck yes, there is. Oh yes. I'm very excited for the game. I love Death Stranding. I think I have that scheduled for Friday. It is out now, isn't it? Pretty sick of them to put a, uh, a save transfer feature in too, which is great. Yeah, you can import your save. Fantastic. So actually, like, uh, I did start a new save on PC when they ported it to PC. I'm pretty sure I got far enough to look at the director's, director's cut content. So... Yeah, I'm excited for that. <laughs> the races, I guess, and some extra side missions. I never even saw the side content in the original game, which is a shame. I was I was meant to go back and just like really get, dig in there and see what was in the game. So, I can do that with the director's cut now. There's even more, even more holograms. Hello, Zetel. What a fancy little boy with a little coat. Oh, the radio broke for three days? It was silent? Uh... Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Metal Gear missions? Yeah. Yeah, the best, the best I could ever get in jobs was, like, finding a way to cram it into the white noise part of my brain, but... That doesn't always work. And if it's really annoying, sometimes it just punches through. Like the jacket plus shorts look. Like you, you have to be four years old and that's it. Yeah, I'm actually also getting sponsored by that, so... Things are going pretty well over here at Lawdog Productions. The cameras are rolling round the clock! Except when, uh... I guess when they're off. I'm doing finances. Spinach! Alright. Okay. Okay, got an herb, the pressure's on. I have to find the wolf guy, where are you? This is kind of nice, oh yes, he's in the bath, perfect. Um, no, I ate it! Oh, oh no. What, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> are they gonna give me another one? Oh no. Uh. <laughs> Give someone a toy herb. Maybe I can cancel it and try again. <laughs> okay, good. Phew. Here we go. Hey, infinite herbs. Uh-oh, it didn't spawn one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe I can buy one? 
Yeah, that must have been one of a kind. Oh no. Also, what happens if the wolfman leaves the leaves the bath? I'm gonna be in big trouble. My chance will be ruined. What? What is that? Look at this dweeb. Trigun reject. One hundred percent ruined. No, no. This will be a story we tell our half furry grandkids one day. Terry. Oh, Terry's the other. Okay. Somebody who's expressing frustrations that you can't romance Terry. That would be too easy. Because then you'd, you'd have, like... You'd have access to the store. There we go. Welcome. Damn it. You don't sell toy herbs. You have no herbs. Back again. Damn it. He does look like more like a Helsing reject. That's a good point. Hmm. Or maybe like from a from a Castlevania game on the DS. We got a problem here. We got a big problem. I don't know how to. Uh, I don't know how to get an herb. <laughs> I messed it up. I ate it right away. I have bread. Uh. Uh, gotta restart your game. <laughs> Delete the save. Oh, uh, down. Better reinstall. That's the only way. There's gotta be. Gotta be a way around this. I don't think any of these are toy herbs. Maybe I can just go out, go out into the, the go out into the woods and get them. You know? Maybe. I bet that'll work. But, you know, gotta sow today so I reap tomorrow. I've got some new seeds. Let's put those down. Yes! Can you explore? Yeah, yeah. There's a. There's like a, a field area and other kind of more self contained dungeon areas. And have uh, random monsters and. What? Oh, crap, I gotta back that up then. Ugh! I don't know if I can break that, but probably best to not find out. There's a what button? Oh, that's how you rotate. Okay. What a way to like. There it is. Okay. Back it up a little bit. There. Yeah, Jerry Malone. No worries. Yeah, I uh, geez, it's been it's been so busy lately. Ah. Between uh, between some inside game stuff and uh, trying to get all my tax stuff in order before before it becomes ultra last minute. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I can grow. I can grow these. I can grow them. Uh, I will grow them. This is fine. I got seeds at some point. And I can also still look around. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can just find them. But it says you can get toy herbs from monster areas and dungeons. We good? I knew that. I knew that. I knew that, baby. I know what I'm doing. Come on now. Farming and love have leveled up. Excellent. Hey, what's up, Seraph? Tax is due in two weeks. Yeah, better get on it. I uh, I had to make sure that I was trying to, I was trying to be ahead of the game as I can be. Well, that's a lie. I didn't start until March, but uh, I at least had to start somewhat early because I figured my tax situation this year was going to be a little complicated after scaling up things with businesses. I like this though. You skate forward automatically when you water. water 
watering time. Watering time. Oh, Seraph, yeah? Hope it comes out okay. You've been on some dates with some attractive lady? You have a, a wonderful lass on your arm? That is a delight for you, sir. Alright, I guess I'm presuming male there. But, but, pu yeah. <laughs> Call it. The companionship of a lover is always a delight, regardless. That, Nate, thanks for gifting a sub. You're so glad you know an accountant? Yeah. It's frustrating. Most of the people I talk to, they're like, yeah, my family just knows a guy. I know no guys. But luckily, I was I asked around a bit and managed to get a recommendation. It seems to be going well. They uh, they were very familiar with content creators and the financial situations that 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 creates. I think I think moreover, just like pretty savvy about what does and doesn't count as tax deductible expenses in this line of work, which is exactly the guidance I was looking for, really. Anyway, that's boring adult stuff. I have to wait. Four days, get a uh, toy herb, or I'm just gonna go out into the wilderness. I'll take my power into my own hands and slash at things until an herb pops out. Then I'll be rich in herbs and rich in gifts, rich in progress. 1099 stuff is a nightmare. I wish I had 1099s. YouTube just told me they're not going to make one. And I'm like, well, you, you said you're a corporation, so... Which is true. I'm a business. I'm like, we just... Nah. I'm not going to make one. Take that! Alright! Stick. Stick acquired. Went online and read reviews to find a good accountant after H&R Block messed up our taxes twice. We ended up owing thousands of dollars because of their error. Don't ever use H&R Block. Wow. Well, I won't. I appreciate the, uh... I appreciate the words of caution. I don't quite understand... I don't quite understand this monster system. When you kill a monster, there's like a little orb that pops out and goes into... the, uh, the portal. But you can kill the portal before you kill all the monsters, and then the orbs just kind of leave. Well, that's right. When you beat them up, their spirits, like, return to some other dimension. I think it's like you have to beat the portal and then a leveled up guy pops out? Hey, what's up, Hammy Dan? Sick anime boy? Well, thank you. He's got his dapper suit on. There's a couple of different outfits. I should try some, some of the other ones. Flower Rooney. What? Oh, restore RP. Uh, I I was in there. I was in the Whispering Woods, but I don't remember there being any toy herbs in there, so I'm gonna go somewhere else. Oh, Hammy, the command is Rune. R U N E. If you'd like to give my link a click or two, I'd appreciate it. And so would the sponsor. We get to bang anime girls in this game. I'm pretty sure you do. Pretty sure. You certainly get to get to flirt, and then the meters go up. So what's the point of a meter going up if it, you know, you know what I mean? What's the point? This uh, this game also features same-sex relationships for the first time in the Rune Factory franchise, which is. Incredible news, given that yet again, I must say, must repeat, that there is a half wolf man in this game and he has wolf abs. And you can see those wolf abs. So I gotta figure out what he likes. Hopefully it's skinny blonde kids. Skinny blonde men, excuse me. And we'll get this going. have to find toy herbs to give to him. 
My boss is happy. I got a little taller. Probably like sheep. I can be a sheep. That's easy. All right. Oh, you guys are really cute. Aw, uh, you're gonna attack me though? Aw, oh, man. Alright, well. Take that. I'll do it if I have to. Really, really. Uh, only really played Rune Factory 1, 2, and Frontier, but I love them a lot. I like the first one quite a bit. I just, it was just unfortunately a uh, series I could never really keep up with. So it's really impressive to, to come back to it and see how much they've added. There's meters for everything, it's awesome. We need to explore how gay we can get with this. I'm hoping, I'm hoping out the bat I can seduce this wolfman. Oh, a high orc with very little damage. Slip on past. Give me the old Soulsborne rope dope. Where? Don't see any herbs though. Yeah, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> what about ladies? Hmm. There are some. There are some stout, stout anime ladies in this game. Many forms and figures represented. Oh, that's so cute! Ah! Don't attack! I was admiring. Ah! Damn it. Alright, alright, let me get out of here. I'm not seeing any toy herbs, unfortunately. Alright! Could take the pacifist path here and just grow them. Or continue exploring. Maybe they are in the woods back there. How's the performance been? It's been alright, you know. It's a Switch game. 30 FPS is about what it goes for. Sometimes it dips a little bit. It's playable though. And it's colorful. Oh, you're watching this at the office? Oh. How oh, devilish. Paid to take a t guided tour of the most elegant, classy, upscale video games. High class video games. You did two shots? That sounds fun. Is this your Friday Pop Tart or was this for something else? Or wait, no, not alcohol shots, right? Like, needle shots? I think it's back this way. Brain went straight to alcohol. Well, she said it burns. It stings now. But then I was like, wait, why would you have to... Why would you have to take shots and then wait 28 days? You know, a little gears were turning a little bit. Grinding up a little. You ever decide on the gene versus denim debacle? Gosh. I think some things are just kind of beyond my reckoning. A little bit. You have to do needle for your migraines. I see. It's called emgality, and it prevents migraines. I would get them daily. Whoa. So it super works, though? And yeah, that doesn't sound like it's super pleasant. Yeah, it's, um... That's something I've been thinking more about. I had, uh... It wasn't debilitating, but it wasn't incapacitating. But oddly not because of the pain? I don't know. I'm really lucky in that regard. 
I do get weird... I've been getting, like, really long, low-level migraines lately. Well, not lately. I've had two in the past year. And it's... Like, they can be just uncomfortable. It can feel like there's a lot of pressure. But really, it just it's just harder to concentrate. It's harder to work efficiently. It's harder to string thoughts together. Just kind of in a mental fog. It's very bizarre. Take that. Yeah, too many pro gamer strats. Too much lore. That's okay, there's always room for more. I was put on this earth to test the limits. To test human gamer interface limits. And if this is just a side effect of that, then so be it. <laughs> Dark side of gaming they don't tell you about. Everyone has to sacrifice something to be the best. No one gets it for free. No one. Uh, what is denim made out of? That's a good question. More denim. Denim is an element. Oh. Behold shirt! Dash. Did I equip shirt? Oh. Shirt! Defense plus five. Made from materials which absorb sweat as well. You know what else absorbs sweat? Denim. Shockingly, yes, the neurologist prescribed it. I did the initial dose about a month ago and literally didn't have migraines until about four days before my next dose. I want to say it works. I would get them at least three to five times a week and it makes me nauseous and it hurts a lot. Gah! I guess it's, I guess it's a positive trade-off, though. It must be, if you're willing to do it. But, man, what an unfair trade-off to be asked to make. I'm frustrated on your behalf. Any cool herbs around here? I think, yeah, I think this was just the, uh, boss encounter. Yeah, okay. There was a... There was a third exit. I wonder where that goes. I bet it goes to a glade filled with toy earth. Welcome, anime. You've made it to Toy Herb Gale. So, I think up and... Up and to the right. This is a JRPG with a farm simulator attached, or vice versa. I'm not sure what takes priority, really. Because it also has a, f a fair dose of, um... Of, like... Life sim? Relationship sim? Dating sim? That's the one. It's everything you could ever want, really. The nice thing is the syringe is in a pen form, so it's not a typical horrible long needle. Just unlock it and press a button as the needle quickly jabs the area I choose. It's like a Humira pen. All right. That's pretty neat. Yes. Oh, that's right. There's this log in the way. No, I can't do anything about that. It must feel pretty cool to give yourself, well... I guess I'm at liberty to say this because I don't do it, but it must feel pretty cool to just like... Give yourself sick drugs. Jab yourself with a cyber stim pack. I just I call everything cyber in my brain to make it seem cooler than it is. <laughs> but then again, I don't do it. At least not yet. Not yet. Who knows? Yeah, maybe I gotta start. Uh, poke like injecting my gamer brain with the power of science, increase its uh, gamer absorbency. 
And girl crops kill monsters and romance cute anime girls. It's just the ultimate game. It is, actually. Yeah, it's got it all. I swapped a word around in there. You can, well, I guess you can, res you can romance all kinds of animes, really. Let's dig in. I meant to do that that time. I'll call, I'll call it a cyber pen. Nice. If only it glowed. They should put some. Wait, why do I have a stick? Oh, whatever. I think somebody threw a stick at me. The drug manufacturer should really get some pizzazz and just like put a watch battery in it and then like a rope light. So there's just like this light strip along the side. Because they're overcharging for it enough, right? It's like two cents of drugs and they charge you 250 bucks for it. It might as well glow. Like have a neon stripe. Yeah, RGB everywhere, exactly. Maybe it sinks to your mouse. I'm coming, I'm spinning gold here. <laughs> All right, uh, what am I doing? I need to find an herb. Hmm. Working hard, I see. Huh? Are you, are you poking me? What are you doing? What's up? That's right. You bonked into me. The anime bonked me. I did get hit, hip checked to the ground by an anime before. Hold on, I don't think there's anything embarrassing in here. Oh yeah, I did. I did have to take a picture of the anime girl with the giant bosoms. Yeah, she just bonked into me. Boom, hit the deck. And oh no, she's so embarrassed. But like, it's not even a blind corner. I don't know how they did that. They crossed like 20 feet of open ground to slam into each other. And of course, the the dude's the one that goes down. Probably better that way, right? It wouldn't be good if he just hip-checked like a, a gossamer 40-pound anime to the floor. So, Rune Boy took one on the chin for- <laughs> took one on the chin that day. Why are people always slamming into each other in an- Why are people always slamming into each other in animes? I don't know! Everyone in anime is so distracted. I guess it's a charming character trait. Sarah, if you like boobs? Nice. Nice, bro. The the large, the well-endowed anime in this game is also the sleepy one. So I don't know if that, I don't know if that, <laughs> if that works for you, if that's your flavor. But she's, she's basically anemic. She's sleeping all the damn time. Well, everyone's hanging out in the baths, so I guess I will too. Would you be distracted if you were surrounded by anime characters? Maybe. I think I'd get used to it. Oh, he runs the bath. Fuck yeah. That's Wolfman? Yeah. Murakumo. He just hooked me up with five free baths. If that doesn't say, I want to blow your back out, I don't know what does. He is sending me loud and clear signals, and I am receiving them all. There's a lot of boys in there. Oh, there's like a sauna too? Damn. I don't think I went in here. Oh, there's a changing room. Okay. What's she doing here? I guess she works here too? Alright, sure. Take that dude for example, you're going for milk in the morning and suddenly purple wolf dude says hello, has to be distracting. Yeah, I think the first time. Like just imagine you're you're doing VR chat or something like that. You're gonna see all kinds of anime saying hi. I think you just learned to roll with it. Is there a way for me to I don't think I have a... 
Hey, bath attire. You're treating me like a kid. Uh. Oh. I think you just dip in the pool, and then you start recovering. Oh, it's Cecil. I wonder if he solved that riddle. go on an adventure with Cecil. I want to go on an adventure with Monokumo. You have to talk to Wolfman? I will talk to Wolfman. He's uh, he's working right now, but maybe I can... Yo. Maybe we can set something Yo. up. likes food that he can gobble a lot of real quick. Any food that I can eat very quickly. Something that like slides down my throat smoothly. Let's go on an adventure. Ah. Yep, yeah, he's on he's on the clock. I should have known. Should have known he'd be responsible. Probably a good provider. So so hard working. Well, kind of wasted the day, but that's all right. One day closer to harvesting my stupid herbs. God, please don't let me eat them this time. Yes, Rune Factory 5. Available now for the Nintendo Switch. Hashtag, this gameplay is sponsored. Game seems chill. It is. I, I don't know that I have much of an agenda yet. Besides, you know, I want to get more tools so I can expand my farm. Um, and then it, they just have these quests that they sort of roll out to you. And you get... You get points for those quests that you then can spend on fundamental upgrades to both yourself and the town. You can kind of... It's almost like very light Animal Crossing overtones there. I can't do anything right now. You change the difficulty. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Oh, I have a lot of points. Hell yeah. I'll do my best. Am I supposed to... Uh, am I supposed to have learned these things? Uh-oh. Ooh! Wait, what? I'll do my best. Uh oh Alright! Let's get to it. Interesting. Make you take little quizzes? about mechanics. I'll do my best. Man, I can't wait to craft. I just want to keep my chest as well endowed as it is, but slim back down to my normal weight. Yeah, I'm I'm actually on a pretty good downturn as far as weight weight goes. Pop Dot, I can only imagine how tough it is for you though. It's it's challenging for me, and I have, like, free time. But, man, you have to, like, bounce back and forth between job and all your medis medical stuff. Damn. Uh, that must be tough. Are you liking this so far? Seems peaceful. It is peaceful. It's fun to just sort of... The game actually keeps surprising me. Uh, I've actually been most surprised by its writing. It's actually pretty funny writing. And the characters are really quirky and kind of weird. And I like that a lot. Let's see. Buy one. Dang. Ooh. Oh, right. oh shoot. Get to work. Yeah, I want to buy uh, recipe bread. Because I think you eat this bread and then you have a, a chance to learn how to cook something new. And then there's like different kinds of bread that give you different probabilities of unlock, of like coming up with a new recipe or whatever. 
Ah. Uh, I asked an embarrassing question to my PT therapist on if there's any way to keep my chesticles but still shape my lower half. Sadly, no. He said those ladies who are well endowed with a super thin waist and big hips is most likely cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic surgery. Boob lift and such. Boobs are made of fat and are just the first to go. Or boobs are made of fat and are the first to go if there's any target... Or if there's no target exercise that just shapes one area. Yeah. Yep. It's not... They're not muscles. You can't, like, do stuff to make them bigger. Not really a doctor, but that's my understanding. The sword shields, whatever. See? You hate fake tits? Well... They're not supposed to look fake, right? It's just whatever people want, you know, to look and feel good. Hmm. I'm stacking up these licenses. My chemistry set. Okay. Yeah, Eliza... I don't know who Eliza is. I, I called Eliza a box. Eliza's this thing, which appears to be a cardboard box on top of a shoe. Although I did just really offend Eliza by calling her a box. One, just one of the many quirky characters in this weird game. There's a talking box. Maybe I'll get to the... Yeah, it does kind of look like a South Park Canadian, right? Maybe I'll get to the bottom of this mystery eventually. But first, up with the sun. Time to water. Hope it comes out okay. Watering time. Watering time. Go big and strong, okay? Go big and strong, okay? Yes! Watering time. Give me some tar tarnips over there. I think I should give a turn up to the wolf man. He's a wolf. He probably won't like. Probably won't like, uh. Probably won't like a turnip. He probably wants like a steak or something. Uh, I'm stupid. I'm a stupid idiot for thinking that. I'm sorry, wolf man. Please don't be mad at me. have the tool to break up the rocks yet, but actually I might be able to go buy it or craft it or something. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Use your hands. Just, uh, squeeze it. Farmers used to be tough. Smashing rocks in their fields. What the hell? That's the that's like the biggest quest marker I've ever seen. Awesome. Yes. This better be a big anime. Most people I know who have breast implants didn't get them for anyone else's approval anyway. Yeah. Which is good. That's awesome. I love that, like, that's the exact right situation, you know? Jeez. We have the technology. People want to want to see themselves a certain way in the mirror. What if you could... What if you could go online... Do like a Skyrim character creator thing. Hit, hit, send. They ship you a pill and you just take it. And then overnight you turn into a Skyrim man. I guess then we'd be like... Really close to, uh... Really close to the reality of just seeing wolfmen walk around. What if you could take a pill and turn into a hot wolfman? How many hot wolfmen would there be? 
if somebody could just be a hot wolf man. All the guys here would get bigger peens if we could. Huh. That goes down a weird, weird line of thought. Because if dudes all get bigger peens for themselves, then ladies would have to get parts to match, you know? Would it set off this... This runaway condition? If dudes always have to be bigger than each other, you know? And if you can just swap out the parts, then dudes would just go wild, always trying to have the bigger hog. Mm. I'm sorry to hear you're having a rough time, uh, Popsart. Yeah. From the sounds of it, you do need to look for a new job, which sucks because that's like one more thing on your plate, you know? It's just, it's an, it's everything you can do just to get through the work week and make it to your appointments and stuff. I'm putting words in your mouth, but I'm just saying I've been, I've been in that situation before where like, you know, you need to make a change, but you don't have any time or energy left to like do that change because you're the one who has to do it. Uh, it sucks. I hate that feeling so much. Well, I had a pretty long day, but I also ate a slice of pizza. That helped. I just saw Joe's emote, and I was like, oh yeah, pizza did help. That's the problem, though. It's like, then, then if you start using food to, like, get some endorphin blasts, that doesn't necessarily go to a good place either. Ugh, it sucks, man. No I always used to, and when I was in that, I was in that situation for, I want to say, like, five to six years. Just working a job that burned me out, didn't pay anything. Then I didn't have any time or money to, to like, try and improve my situation. Or just, like, the world was moving too slowly for me, um, basically. But I did a lot of exercise. Uh, I would just, like, go stomp on the treadmill for a while. Listening to listening to music and kind of get my uh, get my frustrations out that way. But I'm also trying to muster in mind just how to professionally resign without giving them any information. I know they're gonna pry. Yeah. Ugh. Well, luckily you can like this is something that I struggle with. I don't know. I don't know if you do, but saying nothing is totally fine. You don't have to say anything to anyone. You can just not talk. They can ask you questions and you can just say, I'm not going to answer that. I, I get the feeling you're not, you know, closely connected with a lot of people that you work with, so... Just walk out the door, you know? That chapter's closed. Move on with your life. Oh, where I work, they hire people based off people skills rather than te tech skills? Sometimes I... I don't know. I prefer that. I would... I would, like, fix somebody's email nine times out of ten and have them be, like, a... an affable person, like, somebody who's kind and easy to get along with. And it's like, whatever, they can't attach... they can't attach a PDF. Life will go on. It... it... Eh, that might get frustrating after a while, but... Yeah, you can always learn tech skills, or at least, like, create a checklist. Like, you can figure it out. But if somebody's just a, a pill, like, that never goes away. I guess sometimes, sometimes you can, like, talk with somebody and just, like, l lay it out there and be like, Hey. Hey, buddy. Can you be a little bit less like that? Sometimes it works. Sometimes. Is it creepy they're staring at us and not each other in these dialogues? White Rabbit, that's interesting, isn't it? 
because yeah, there's like there's the there's the in-engine view, and then there's the character art, and yeah, they're they're kind of looking at us. I pass ownership of the general store to Mrs. We are party to all of these conversations as the player. I am absolutely delighted. They can't take their eyes off us. Yeah, but. I'm starting my own detective agency. It's been my dream for some time. Of course you are, Terry. With a jacket like that. Say what? Well. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I have a hard time saying no or refusing to answer because I don't want to be rude. Nah, eh, I don't think you do. Uh, or sorry, I was reading your boss told you you need to get out of your shell and be more open with your customers, that, it, that you are very serious. Nah, whatever. If you don't want to, don't. Just do the job. Your manager's gonna tell you that because it's gonna, like, get more work product out of you or, in, in their from their perspective, a higher quality work product out of you, but if they're not paying you to open up, then don't, <laughs> you know? If they paid you well enough and treated you right, I'm sure you would feel like uh, letting your guard down or opening up or maybe being a little more personable, but... Nah, if they don't pay you for it, you don't owe it to them. No matter how small the mystery... Yeah, you don't have to be a jerk. You don't have to be an ass. You can do your job, but... Eh. You've got time to kill? If people want... If people want the illusion of, like, a... Uh, a warm family store then they have to pay for it like the customers the the company that's just how it goes oh Alana gonna play Earthworm Jim is it at Earthworm Jim too I actually really like that game that game's got a, a good soundtrack I am absolutely not a whole lot good else actually the animations all right I guess <laughs> oh no graciously uh, Terry Terry graciously offered up his home to the bazonged out fox lady what's your game Terry <laughs> what possessed you to play this today? Not dogging on it, just curious. Uh, well, I guess number one is that it's sponsored. An easy answer. But uh, I was already I was already interested in this game. I do like these kinds of games. This game has a shocking amount going on. Let's see, yeah, I still gotta do that toy herb. That's gonna give me a sickle. Okay, Misasagi runs the runs the item shop now. Oh, what a show with the raid. Prepare for the most embarrassing game you've seen in a while. <laughs> uh no, this is a this is a respectable raid about industry, relationships, love and life, and Hold on, there's a hot fox girl in the item store. Check that out. And hot fox girls! There's also hot wolf mans. So, uh, you can get it coming and going in this game. It's great. And you can level up bartering just by running around. You can level up sleeping, too. That's important. I did miss the moonfall segment of what a show tonight. Looks like a kid's game. I guess it does a little bit. But again, got a hot wolf lady. She doesn't like pizza, what's wrong with her? Oh my god. Well, strike her from the list. Doesn't like pizza, give me a break. Give me a break. Who would even say that? That's like saying I, I just don't care for music. Parties, no thanks. I'll just take my white bread and room temperature tea, please. Thank you. 
Does it have a narcoleptic, narcoleptic purple-haired butler? Uh, there is a narcoleptic anime. Not a purple-haired purple butler. How am I tripping over that? Purple-haired butler. Purple-haired butler. Did I go to parties in high school? I was never invited to any, but I'm also not convinced that any really happened. If they did, I was not connected with those social groups. I, I grew up in kind of a really rural area. Small high school. Um, if there was a party group, I wasn't I wasn't involved with it. Oh yeah, there's also a fox girl and she talks in like cutesy fox language. There she goes. Okay, fox girl likes fish, not clocks. I dove some by proxy because my sister was popular in high school. How was that experience? Tell me about the high school party experience. Is it as salacious as American cinema makes it out to be? Or is it like a bunch of teens kind of awkwardly standing across the room from each other listening to Hanson? Or Carly Rae Jepsen? I'm trying to- I'm gonna throw out a wide net here in terms of, uh... Good work today. Time references, lest I date myself too thoroughly. My Chemical Romance. <laughs> I'll just keep going. Some of her friends tried to bang in my room and I kicked my door open. Nice. A bit of both, actually? Okay, yeah. I drank a lot of malt liquor and smoked a lot of cigarellos. Ah, that sounds wonderful. The Switch exclusive. I think it's only on the Switch. What is the Rune Factory series? Excellent question, Malcolm. The Rune Factory series is a spin-off of Harvest Moon. So it's, I guess, Stardew. People have described it as like Stardew Valley. It's like a way more JRPG star Stardew Valley. Um, so it's got, it's got a uh, dating sim aspect. There's a town full of characters you have to learn. You have to like learn who they are and what they like and then you can farm or craft gifts for them and get into lender, tender loving relationships. Uh, the farming aspect has you leveling up elemental skills that also carry over into dungeons and then you go into dungeons and find seeds and stuff that you bring back to your farm. And then like the stuff you get out of your farm then lets you craft better items and armor and level up and all that stuff. So yeah, it's just, it's like a, it's a cool cyclical game where like, if Persona is going to school and then going into dungeons, this is farming and then going into dungeons. And then while you're farming, you know, you can also flirt with ladies and, and again, hunky wolf boys. Yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of crafting, there's a lot of leveling, there's a lot of meters, a lot of items. Uh, it seems like there are events that happen in the village, too, between the characters. So there's these story sequences that kind of play out. These sort of episodic anime uh, happenings. The first one in the series is literally called Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually the one I played the most, and I was really, really liked that mix, because I always really liked Harvest Moon, and the idea of putting some dungeons in to go run around in and bop some enemies while you're waiting on your crops to grow made total sense, and it did it pretty much work. So yeah, that's Rune Factory. This is Rune Factory 5, which is sponsoring the stream. So if you're curious. I invite you to use the rune command in chat and tap on the link because that makes me look good. Oh yeah, it also keeps track of how many times you try to go into the wrong bath. It's that kind of game. It knows you're going to. Hello, Cecil. Searching for clues. Subtle cell. <laughs> I come on like a like a spring breeze. Bye, video game. Took three hits off a bong and chugged two forties at a party once. Woke up in a field next to an apartment complex with no shirt and half a pizza. That sounds like a good party. It's a I don't know. It it's a good story, right? But I guess it's a bit of a shame that, that there's not you don't remember more of it, right? Not more details. At least you weren't injured. That's what. That's when it's scary. You like party too hard and you wake up with like a black eye or a bloody nose or something. <laughs> High school parties in SoCal were always on somebody's patio or in their garage. Underage drinking and smoking. I always stood or sat in the corner of the room with a friend just pointing out things we noticed or other things 
Or, or things other than the most dramatic thing was... Or, ah, what? Hold on. Other than that, there we go. The most dramatic thing. Someone uninvited would pull up and try to start something, but nothing ever serious. So people just kind of yell at each other across the driveway, and then they, they, they just, like, drive away. Shut up. Throw some french fries. Fuck you. <laughs> You're a bitch. You're a bitch. Yeah. Man, I just... I just... Was in my bedroom, playing video games. Once I got the internet, that's, that's where I hung out. I found a group of like-minded people online. Sometimes we would hang out in our Jedi Knight servers. I guess I just... I just passed time. Passed the time until... Go flirt with Wolfman, maybe? Is he on the clock? He probably is. He's just so hard working. Oh, yeah. I should go to Palmo and see if I can afford anything. I can also go to the cafe, see if I can buy some recipe bread. We used to burn pallets in the bonfire at the river. Have good bullshits, good jokes, good times. That sounds nice. Hanging out with people around a big ass fire. I visited my friend in college for three weeks and most of it was a blur. I remember a lot of smoking, drinking, and longboarding. The frat parties were cool, I guess. That sounds nice. There's there's Palmo. There's our guy. I like people with like cat jowls. Hey, what's up, Leventus? Oh, recipe, br yeah. recipe bread is cheaper at the bakery. Okay, I'll go check it out. Sorry if I'm stumbling over my words a bit. I'm wearing Invisalign trays. I'm trying to fix everything again. Wait, you could sex this guy? I'm trying to think about who I need to join my empire with to take over this town. Yes, this is indeed a real game for real gamers. Real gamers only in this chat. But that also means everyone in this chat now is a real gamer, so now you know. That's got to be good news, right? Wait, oh! This expands shops. Oh, wow, okay. Timothy Alex, thanks for the sub. Ah, oh, and the anniversary. Thank you very much, Timothy. Explaining why it's okay that I remodel other people's stores. Oh. Riker. Hmm. He picked a lock before and it was super hot. Because he was just like, ugh. He like tossed his hair. Ugh. Ugh. Clank, clank, clank. So roguish. And he's got butterflies on his shirt. I, let's see here. So this is the place you're supposed to, wait a minute. Let me talk to Palmo again. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. Cause I wanna make the, oh yeah. I'm just gonna carry it, fuck it. Whimsical welcome. Whimsical. Okay, I need stone where I can start getting stuff table. I already have a cooking table, but... Oh, I guess I need... I probably need some of that stuff to cook. Various recipes. Mixer. Okay, chemistry set is the other thing I unlocked. Yeah. Maybe I can... Thank you very much, and please oh, I should have looked at the other pages. Maybe I can look... Or go to the forge and see what else... Or see what they have over there. There's a lot going on here, huh? <gasps> oh! I have, I have home decorations? Please, take your time! Wooly themed floor? <gasps> Fleecy themed curtains! 
I can have fleece? Oh, man. I have wall-to-wall -wall fleece? That sounds really tacky. But I want it. Thank you very much, and please, come again! Actually, yeah, let's see what else. Whimsical welcome! Okay. I'll buy a little sheep. I can buy cactus. Please, I don't think I want to spend all my money on, on like, lawn gnomes. Oh my gosh, look at that couch. Uh, make me a little snowman? Please, take your time. Ah, filthy heathen. Thank you for the sub. Uh, oh, awesome. My best party story was when my band was touring, played a house show in Memphis where we played and then got blackout drunk in a parking lot across the street. I was sitting on top of our van, and the party got raided by the cops, and our singer had to Sherpa the bass player and myself out of there because we tried to go start a fight. Jesus. That is, an, that is a pretty amazing story. That is a movie-worthy experience. Please, take, thank you very much, and please, come again. Lease lingerie? That's probably really comfy. All that comfy fleece riding up in, just nestling. Nestling in nature's pocket. We did a lot of stupid shit on tour. My body's in terrible shape. Yeah, I'm... I'm only reveling in these stories because ideally they happen so young that your body just bounces back from that stuff. Yeah, you... You try to get up to that stuff as you, you tick up there in years and it starts to leave a dent. You need cheap furniture to attract the wolf man. Oh my gosh, you're right. I do. I do. I need to figure... Yeah, I should go back and... Write down exactly what I need. I, I still need a hammer. Like, I can't break up these rocks. And a lot of that stuff needed wood. Also, I'm, I'm curious. Like, all I've gotten wood from so far is busting up stumps with axes, which is fine. But the axes, or the stumps, just kind of generate every day. So if I want more wood, I don't know how to get it. Maybe I can just go out into the field and chop down trees or something. Maybe I can buy tools here. Okay, just, just wait. Boots. Here we go. Oh, I need fifteen hundred gold. Damn it. Uh, just check soil quality. Oh, and fur brush. Take your time. Fishing. This game has fishing. It's got fishing. The best. I could just buy a sickle. Just to cut weeds and plants. Oh, okay. Cut crops. Oh, you can cut crops to collect seeds. Hmm. Take your time. Thanks. Uh. Pff, okay. Well. Yeah. Got a bit of a flat tire from cramming that that herb in my mouth. As soon as I picked it up, you get tools for free from requests. Yeah, I was just. I, I would have had a sickle already, and I'm sure along the path to getting all the other tools that I need, but... Uh, I ate it. <laughs> the very definition of I made you a cookie, but I ate it. Uh, how am I going to flirt with the wolf man when I keep accidentally eating his presents? Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, but he's lonely. Yeah, I'm trying to get my like, whoop, I'm trying to get my slide throw down. You can, you can dunk it into the delivery bin if you're savvy enough. Damn, I thought that one was gonna get it. That's close. I need to like, it'd be fun to set up like a backboard. Heard that meme. <laughs> Haven't heard that meme in a long time. All memes are timeless in my eyes. All memes are my special children. But yeah, that was an old one. Nice. All right. On a scale from Harvest Moon to Tales of Arise, what sort of game is this? Ooh, it's kind of right in the middle, actually. Ha! Yeah, two points. Feels good. I guess, I guess in some, to some degree, you can kind of pick what the division of JRPG combat 
happy farms life sim you want the game to be. You in a rush there, guy? Okay, Terry likes apples. Uh, yeah, I guess I just have to pass time so my crops grow. Yeah, just chain sleeping is probably the most effective thing at this point. Or find Wolfman. I'm still just hanging out there. I, I wonder if the drugstore would sell the herbs I need. I wonder. These are like almost borderline steel drums. I submit that steel drums might be the most whimsically relaxing instrument. Feeling well? Zydeco? <laughs> Could you quite possibly bang every character in this game? I'm not sure. It might be the sort of thing where you, uh... Thanks. Once you get married, you're paired off. And that's like you're kind of locked into that character for that play for that playthrough. Oops, I'm not uh, I'm not fully sure how how deep the relationship stuff is, or if you can plow your way through Rig Barth. I know I just know in like older Harvest Moons, once you got married, you were married. The game enforced the sanctity of marriage upon you. One of the best parties I went to was after the amazing. DJ at my first rave grabbed me from behind and lifted me into the air saying, I love you, cat girl. You have to come to my after party. It was a blast. I met a lot of dear friends. We watched Adventure Time, made an epic breakfast. Wow, that sounds amazing. You had the perfect cat girl rave experience. May we all one day be thrown on top of a DJ's shoulders. What's interesting is is just killing enemies doesn't really get you money. You get level ups. But you can't like you can't come out into the field and just grind enemies to ply your way through the uh, progression of the city, which is I think kind of cool. I had to send that one through for some reason, tough am I. I have countless party moments from college and lots of slutty encounters and I miss them almost every day. There's still, there's gotta be a place, a place in this world still. I wonder about that. My college was really tame too. I went to a tech school. Again, I was still a big gamer. Uh, yeah. I was on the nice. newspaper staff. Right. Uh, our college had a pretty good chess team, my understanding. Uh, mostly I just kicked it with my roommates. Didn't really start drinking until I was like well out of college. Yeah, exactly, OJ dude. Nothing stopping you from slutting it up. Raves need to make a resurgence, and I mean real raves, not those rave nights at a club run by people who cannot even spell rave. Um, well, now that... Now that COVID's tapering off, I imagine that that'll come back. I guess I assumed that raves are just what... are just turned into, like, electronic festivals, you know? There's just more people, and it's outside. But everyone's still, like, bombing sick drugs all the time. Like, that's the point, right? Take that! I have no idea how much that stuff is worth. Mm. All right. Three mushrooms, though. I'm just hoping I can dump all this stuff out of my pockets into the into the into the delivery bin. Sorry, tongue's getting caught on stuff again. There's still indoor raves that aren't festivals. It just depends where you are. All right. Ooh. 
just wandering around now. We're looking at environments out here. A fast travel point it is. Oh, they're really cute. Don't kill me. I would like clubs that aren't 80% seating area slash bars and just a big techno dance floor. I don't think I've never had the experience of going to a club, and I, I guess it's table service. But even just having a place to sit. Oh. I would like to. I would like to post up somewhere in a club and just crush some drinks and watch people dance. But why do that when I can play Rune Factory 5? It's basically bad experience. If you go to a club and there's no dancing, you're going to want a table. If everyone's dancing, you don't really need a table. That's a good point. Yeah. Ow. Oh. You can't hurt me now that I'm wearing shirt. I will say that I appreciate that the combat in this game is pretty laid back. I, uh... Ooh. I think I think it's the right choice for this kind of game. To have combat not necessarily be a big sweaty ordeal of platinum game style frame dodges and stuff. Okay, I've been over here before, that's right. Well, I got some more seeds. That's that's a pretty good haul, I guess. I don't know if it's worth anything. I hope so. Oh. Oh. I like the goth clubs I went to, they were always elegant. Nice to have seating when you get tired from dancing. Yeah. When you can stay longer, buy more drinks. That's the whole point, right? I've had to offer... Wait. I've had to offer people keys at late high school parties? Like to rooms? Let me know if you have any or is this a cocaine thing? Let me tell you about outrageous club drink prices. Yeah. Nobody's gonna... Nobody's gonna be sober. This music? Went to a club in K-Town in Manhattan and asked for a mixed drink. It came in a small white plastic cup with lots of ice and one shot in it. Charged $20. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, in the music venues I've been to in LA, a mixed, a mixed well drink is like $8. Not Manhattan, but it's still a lot for just, like, well vodka. I see, Joe. Jeez. What am I doing? Oh, that's right. I'm gonna dump my pockets into the... Into the delivery bin. Many of the shows I DJ'd for was goth or industrial shows. Ooh. I feel like industrial would be fun, fun energy. But the platform I'm playing this on, it is on Nintendo Switch. I was lucky enough to be given a code. Because this is a sponsored stream. I don't, like fodder, you actually need a scythe to harvest, right? Usually. I have to admit, this little quick switcher down here is actually a really cool a really cool tool as well. What I need to get used to do I need to get used to hitting B instead of or sorry, Y to equip instead of B. Big and strong. You can flip through like multiple uh you can customize that jump list too, but you can flip through multiple categories and okay? 
like right to an item really quickly. I actually like it a quick, quite a bit better than like nested radio menus, which is how that stuff has been done for a long time. Yeah, it's handy, it's fast. I like it. Hey, Patman. Patman Beyond, good to see you. Look, it's been a while, how you been? Oh, the clubs I absolutely hated were the regular normie clubs. They're expensive and people are so trashy while you have to dance to shitty pop music. I only went because a friend dragged me one time. Huh. I've not been to enough clubs to have a preference, really. I mostly just go based on musical act, which make it it's not so much dance, really. Wait, hold on a minute. You're speaking my language now. DJ who specialized in breakbeats, drum and bass, amen breaks while on tour. Ooh, that sounds like a really fun and danceable set. I would want to hear that. My sleeping leveled up. Ugh. Best news. grew so fast. The herbs haven't grown yet, though. Boy, herb. I guess I don't have to rain, or I don't have to, uh... <laughs> I don't have to, um... water anything today. That's right, Captain. Sponsored by Rune Factory. Get 50% off your first purchase in Rune Factory using code DUDESU. I haven't said that in a while. Now, when I... When I... When I shell, it's for me. I shield for me! If anyone wants to hear my stuff, Google DJ Seraph of One and my SoundCloud should pop up. No, it's totally fine. You can link it if you want. If you do a thing, if you made a thing, totally okay to, to link people to it. Yes! Nice! Clubs are mostly for the stereotypical college bro chick crowd. A lot of loud music, people sitting and standing around, only alcohol and snacks, everything is overpriced as hell. Well, yeah. How else are you gonna have fun? The only way to do it. And I guess that's why you pregame, right? You gather up at the, uh, at the apartment, you do like four shots in a row, and then you wobble to the club. You get like one drink to nurse the entire night. Yeah, who doesn't love alcohol and snacks? It's the perfect combo. There's got to be... Oh, I like that they let you warp there. That's nice. Um, I feel like there has to be something I can idly farm. Kind of hoping I can, like, maybe get some wood. I don't have a hammer yet. I assume I have to have a hammer to get stone. That seems to be the thing that I can pursue. I might have points I can spend. My new licenses and stuff. So maybe there's different enemies out here. Now that it's raining. Well. Okay, that's good, I guess. I said walking was a skill, so you can just walk around. Yeah. Walking levels up as you walk. You get better at walking. I guess it's true. I walked a little today. <laughs> this is an interesting way to start a story, but yeah, I walked. Uh huh. Our ice maker broke. I really wanted to make uh, Vietnamese iced coffee, and this is this is where the story turns for the better. You you might recall a long time ago, um, on the stream. Stephanie was talking about wanting fancy ice, crunchy ice. You know, the little cylinder ice that has like holes in it. So it, it's crushed ice basically. And she found a crushed ice maker. And she was like, I want this crushed ice maker. I was like, we don't need a crushed ice maker. But then chat just like started firing subs like nonstop to get Stephanie the crushed ice maker. So I had to do it. I thought it was frivolous. I thought it was needlessly uh, opulent at the time. I thought it was ridiculous, but I was I was trying to be a little, a little more frivolous, trying to be a little more uh, impulsive. Also, just trying to like make sure that 
I mean, Steph deserves the world, let's be honest. Um, here's the thing. This has actually benefited me in the long run. Because I was able to use the Crunchy Ice Maker to make a delightful cup of Vietnamese iced coffee. But I did have to walk to the corner drugstore and get distilled water to do it. So that was my walk. I walked. I walked to the drugstore to get water to make ice. Which was just one of the many weird things that have that have absorbed a lot of time this week. It shouldn't, right? Oh, look at all that money I made. Thank you, delivery guy. It took us like 45 minutes to get that ice maker. You guys did it, though. Yeah, I think I just popped up a, a sub goal. I, I thought about that. About, like, impulsively adding sub goals and meters to streams. Because it works, but I don't want to... I don't want to overdo it, you know? Uh, I don't want I don't want there to be a meter all the time. But that reminds me, I do need to do another subathon soon. It's been a while. It's time. It's time. I need to figure out what it's going to be for though. What's a what's a worthy subathon subject? I haven't played Doom Eternal in forever. So maybe maybe just like 24-hour Doom Eternal plus Doom Novel again or something. Mm, the Doom novel seems to be the star of the show. Could do DS Roulette this time around? Mm. There's always Sonic Boom. Yeah, I just don't... Are people going to hang around and watch Sonic Boom? I don't know if they will. But maybe it's not on me to, to judge. Ripper. <laughs> Ripper will end too early, right? No way, it'll take 24 hours. No way! Destiny Raid with Jacob? That probably wouldn't take 24 hours. <laughs> 24 hour ripper. That game doesn't take 24 hours. Uh and and last time I did uh FMV games, there didn't seem to be a ton of enthusiasm for them. But I may also not have been doing novel reads when I did that. I don't think I was. Yeah. Hmm. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I need to look at what's coming out soon. I think I think the next month actually looks pretty pretty slow. Why oh, do I just fight it again? Fight the wolf again? New Vegas is always fun. Not a bad idea. It's actually not a bad idea. I've always I actually haven't finished New Vegas ever. We all fell in love with Arlene. It's impossible not to. She's perfect. Another game roulette? Hmm. I guess I guess what's another what's another game theme? Something that I can have a lot of on deck and ready to go. Cause yeah, I have DS. New Vegas is definitely a good idea. I think I agree. Especially since I've never I've never actually played all the way through it. Maybe with uh hmm. I wonder if there's like any crowd control stuff with New Vegas. I'll have to look into that. PCSX2 roulette? Oh like PS2? That would be uh that would be a lot of storage space. Hold all the ROMs for all PS2 games, yes. but that could work. PS1 might be a little more realistic, but PS PS1 games are pretty slow burn. PS2 two games can be as well. I guess PS1 games can be pretty fast. Problem is in a roulette setting, you're only seeing like the first 15 to 20 minutes of any game. No. Oh. 24-hour subathons <laughs> do all the Zeldas. I would get like maybe through Legend of Zelda one. And that's it. Like, and then I'd start two, and then the stream would be over. Somebody said all the Final Fantasies. It'd kind of be the same story with that, unfortunately. Did that, that, all right, you did that donate to choose a future Sonic stream a, stream a while ago. That's true. I think that was overcomplicated, though. I think I overcomplicated that. Death Stranding? I wonder about that. Would that be a good 24-hour stream? 
There is the new Lego game. Star Wars Lego is finally coming out. That could be a 24-hour game. There's always plenty to do in that. Yes. <sighs> pong. 24 hours of Pong. <laughs> You've come at a good time. I think New Vegas. New Vegas seems like the front runner. Oh, I do gotta check out Nightmare Reaper. That looks really cool. Oh my, yes. Honestly. Maybe a boomer shooter subathon? Because there's been a ton of them out that I haven't I haven't played them all. But Yeah, Tetris 99 maybe. Or uh Tetris Effect. 24 hours. Man. <laughs> That would actually do some weird things to my brain, I think. Yes. I would see blocks for like weeks. Ugh. Kingdom Hearts? Oh, I did that, though. I, uh, I played through Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 with a drinking game, but this was, like, years ago. It's all on YouTube, though. I think it was, like, whenever I heard Friendship or Darkness, like, there were some pretty, pretty generous rules. Yeah, Hannah, I'm not sure. There are some there are some young young looking animes in here. Maybe they're just tiny tiny adult ladies. <laughs> yeah, see, Livia's reminiscing about the old days. 24 hour walk to LAX stream there and back. I think I could actually walk to LAX and back before 24 hour. But I guess that just means I turn around and do it again. But that would mean I would be around the airport at midnight, and that's not not the best. You know what? It does feel like I should I should like find the road closest to LAX's runway and just stand under planes that take off. I haven't done that yet. What kind of mods will New Vegas have? I mean, I'll there's like a ton of stability and UI. Like I'll probably just make sure that the visuals are cleaned up, that it's more stable, and uh, and some kind of UI mod to make it a little more PC friendly. Yeah, and also all the sex mods I can install. What is it? I think ideally there would be a crowd control mod where uh, in addition to extending the sub, people can like pay very small amounts of money to dick with the game. That would be great. Oh yeah, I uh, Pop-Tart, I, I remember reading about Sweet Home a while ago, but I've never played it myself. I think I remember trying to play the ROM before it was translated, and it was really interesting, but... Uh... Well, now. I want to play that. I want to play Faith. That game looks awesome. There's just something about, like, lo-fi horror games. Where it's just, like, the low-res graphics lend themselves so well to horror for some reason. Highly recommend Viva Vegas as a starting point. It's a stable, lightweight mod pack. Okay. Just, like, kind of a swap the engine out. Well, not the engine. <laughs> Give it a nice little buff up. What about 8-bit games for 24 hours? I mean, I could just do NES roulette then, I guess, but... I feel like that's maybe too old. I, I try to target uh, a specific and slightly scaled up nostalgia range for uh, for roulettes. But it seems like uh, Game Boy Advance and DS are kind of in that, in that nostalgia range for most people right now. NES might be a little too old.
Oh yeah, Resident Evil 6 is an incredible game. What a ride. Uh, I would, now that I finally played through it with Bruce a while ago, I would love to watch other people play it. Ideally for the first time, because man, what a game. What a journey that is. There's a Twitch integration mod for Bethesda games, but it's only Fallout 4 and Skyrim right now? Aww. Okay. Well, maybe I can come up with something, like... If people activate certain things or donate certain things, then I will turn on a mod for a certain amount of time. Or, like, change things around. Yeah, maybe I can just have a list of mods that people can activate for Windows of Time. That's, I guess that's how I did Witcher. When people did certain things, I would, like, make Geralt shirtless for a while. But after a while, I just gave up. I was just like, whatever, he'll just stay shirtless. <laughs> He's just shirtless now. Is that in and out? Yeah. I like that in and out. That's... I think that's the... That's our... That's our neighborhood in and out. Good spot. I've been trying to con or I've been trying to convince my husband for us to play Resident Evil 6 together. We loved your gameplay. He just sighs at me and shakes his head. No! It's so much fun. It's so stupid. How would so ch chat can spawn death claws? I don't know if there's any I wonder if there's anything that could make it happen automatically. I don't have time to make anything myself. Maybe I could maybe I could find a mod maker and have them whip something up. It would have to be something where, like, it can't just be, like, chat just murders me. They have to put me under duress. There's console commands for sure, so maybe chat, like, tips or donates a certain amount, and then I just spawn a death claw if I just see it happen. Maybe, maybe something like that. That could work. Hey, Yipper. Howdy, howdy. How you doing? Yeah, increase the difficulty. Yeah, that could work. Especially if, like, I'm about to head into a combat dungeon or something like that. I did... F I remember when I was playing it before, there were a couple of mods that made the difficulty much more like classic Fallout. Which is, is interesting, like survival mode. Yes, yes. The biggest randomizer. I don't randomizer so much. I haven't even played the game. So, randomizing wouldn't mean much to me over the way the game is originally made. Think you can buy the hammer now? Okay. Yeah, I needed 1500. I can buy the hammer now. You're right. Joe John, oh. Eyes bugged out of my head just now and I read Rune Factory 5 on my sidebar. Yeah? You weren't expecting such a classy game? I like listening to the rain too. Welcome. Alright. Used to flatten soil. Oh. I guess that doesn't break rocks. Take your time. Maybe it does? Take your time. Okay, yeah, no, I'm I'm taking my time, don't worry. I can get a fishing pole. But it could snap. I know, I'm taking my uh, I'm gonna step away and use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Oh wait, hold on. Oh uh, hmm. Take your time. Here's an example of how you can play with chat. An editor streamer like had his chat constantly try to kill him in order to prevent him from completing GTA. Every sub and bit would let the person make a command. Okay. I'll see if there's any way that could cross over with like uh with um Take your time. with New Vegas. Uh, all right, I'll be right back. See you guys in just a second. Okay. Take your time. I'm back. 
I'm still experiencing a uh, slight crisis because it says it's good at flattening soil. I'm going to assume that that means rock. That it flattens rocks into uh, smaller rocks, a.k.a. soil. I'm going to assume that that's what that means. Alright, here we go. I'm going to go bash those rocks. I think my mom picked Rune Factory out of a bargain bin when I was a kid and couldn't stop playing it. Oh, thank God. Alright. I am mining now. Yes. Yields. That was a close one. Oops. Right. Right. Nice. Let's see if I can break this one. Alright. Oh dang it! Oh dang it! Keep over swinging my hammer, flattening soil. Hopefully that doesn't. I haven't hit any tiles that have planted. Uh, Crops yet. I hope it doesn't automatically remove them. Oops. Nice. Oh, Captain, yeah. Uh, when I step away from stream or like I'm taking a break or whatever, yeah, I just have this this database basically of media clips that I've built up. Just something to yes. provide a little entertainment while I'm taking care of my particulars. I don't know what's up with these bamboo shoots. Maybe you have to scythe those. So pretty, you guys. Oops. Oh no. I have to go to the baths. Let's see my favorite hunky wolf boy. See, I'm out in the fields, working hard all day. Meanwhile, my hunky wolf husband is preparing a nice bath for me to relax. We already have a really good thing going here. I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it going. Skill up. Okay. There is a scenario where you get to put on bath bath clothes. Hell yeah. Ah. Wait. Bathing is a skill that just leveled up. Yes, bathing. Level two. Excellent. Jeez. Like Morrowind level skills. Old Rune Factory games, you just had a spell to teleport back home, but that was it. Yeah, Star Shadow. It is interesting that they let you teleport around so much right from the drop. I mean, it's not a bad thing, really. It's not like I miss anything by not tromping through the, through the town every time. Although I guess you are kind of... Time doesn't seem to go by that quickly. I'm wondering if you fast travel, if it actually saves time so you can get more done in a day. It doesn't seem like it's as uh, imperative, though. Like min-max of what you do in a given day. I waited a long time for this. For a beautiful, gloriously pleasing, fully tilled patch of farmland. Ah, that's the stuff. Oh, Konang, hey! Thanks for the sub. How's life? This one? Ah, uh, oh, Toy Herb. Almost there. Oh! 
got a new quest. A new story event or something. At the detective agency? Time for more anime. I don't, have t don't have time to bathe. I'm gaming. That's what my farmer says. I beg of you. Sorry, babe. Me your ways. Sorry, Wolfman. I want to become a great detective just like you, Terry. Gaming. Huh? That's not it at all. Anyway. What? Really? Ah. Uh, whoa. If you're looking for an anime wreck, please watch Ranking of Kings with Steph. You'll both cry your eyes out. It's so good. Mm. Hey. I don't know. It's difficult to get Steph to watch an anime. Does it have squealing or like anime bullshit in it? Because that's probably not, it's probably not gonna go over. No way. I want to become a detective and, and find our parents. Ooh. There was an old Gact interview where he showed the interviewers how to wash their hair. He said he leans back Matrix bullet dodging style as it doesn't hurt your core. The interviewers weren't flexible enough. Oh, to like blow it up or whatever? No anime bullshit. All right. Ranking of Kings. Okay. So that's it. I don't think you can romance. Ta Somebody in chat said that Terry was not romanceable. Although you can tell him you love him, so maybe I should do that. Yes. But thank you, Mr. Terry. I don't know. I am much more of a we'll wolf man. I bet Terry doesn't even have abs. Oh well. The here's the beautiful. <laughs> this beautiful little boy is the main character. He is dead and mute. Deaf. Oh, okay. I see. All right. That makes way more sense. Hey, what's up, Aussie maniac? Falls well with your vision. What happened exactly? Oh, it's just a, a migraine. I get like sunspots in my vision when I get them. Sometimes I like that's all I get is just the vision fuck up, and then my brain kind of goes a little screwy. It gets kind of hard to concentrate. But yeah, just wasn't in a good spot for it. And like that was I had that all day basically. Oh, he literally bends his body all the way backwards like Neo dodging a bullet. It's his proper body posture. Ah. Well, it clearly worked pretty well for Keanu, right? Being able to do a matrix bullet dodge is this, the key to long life. It opens up all your chakras. Uh, I'm just going to sleep until tomorrow. I really want that herb. Garrett still didn't prepare me for how mature of a show that is. Or it is. Yeah, it'll sneak up on you. Oh, aura migraines. Yeah. I get like head pressure. Uh, and it can scale up to... It can scale up to being painful. Um, where I can like feel my pulse sort of radiating throughout my brain. But, uh, yeah. It makes it hard to read and to like look at a screen and play a video game. That's for sure. Yes. So I'm trying to remember when the bean toss is. Perhaps sleep level up. Feels good. I get nauseous and lots of pain that gets worse with movement or sleep. Ah! Sleep makes it worse? God, that's... Captain Livia. Yeah. Ah. Huh? keep excedrin on you yeah i've been like ibuprofen has always been the painkiller that knocks me out of that state basically um but i'm trying not to take that because i guess i took too much Ooh, all right 
It was my go-to painkiller for a long time, and I think I, I think I burned it out. I need to take a break. So there's some like uh, I guess it affects your kidney function. So my I did I had some blood work done recently, and my like kidney numbers were not not like ideal. They were just like yeah, just stop taking ibuprofen. So, so yeah, I'm trying to use Tylenol, yeah, as a painkiller. Oh, it's the Bean Toss Festival. All right. Can't wait to toss them beans. Hey. Well. You want to toss the detective's beans? Man. Sarah, if you gotta go to an anime convention. You gotta DJ uh, an anime rave. If you wanna if you wanna toss them beans. Huh. I've been watching anime for over 20 years, since before some people here were born. Ranking of Kings is one of the strongest starts I've ever watched of anything. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. I guess I'm gonna have to, uh... I'll have to check it out. But I'm gonna wait until I, I, like, have a, uh... Like, a good foundation first. Right. Good emotional foundation. It's gotta be a day where I'm ready. Ready for a sucker punch. Uh. <laughs> it's called the Getting Old Club. Yeah. Huh? I got to dodge it for a while. I wonder when that was going to start happening, right? When I would have to start paying attention to what I do to my body, maintaining it, instead of just thrashing it around and expecting it to just pick up the pieces. Wait, why is this... This guy's roped me into doing his investigation for him. How's that fair? Supposed to be the professional here. I'm just a farmer. An extremely handsome farmer. Oh, it's Retrolax. Thanks for the sub. I want to know where the bean toss is. I came to toss some beans. Oh wait, no, this is the these are the ruins. Maybe there's a mystical bean toss down here. Is tossing beans a euphemism? <laughs> no! It's the Bean Toss Festival! Four-hour stream of Deadly Premonition 2. Oh, jeez. Has to be a game that's a draw. I love it, though. I want to go back and play more of it. Deadly Premonition 2 is a is a journey. I have to finish the finish the saga. I'm speaking of speaking of acerbic Switch games. I still have to finish No More Heroes 3 as well. I'm kind of criminal. I haven't finished that game. Maybe it's up here. I need that bean toss. I need it. I paid for this. I paid points for this. Oh yeah, there she is. Our laconic buxom anime. I like her hair. Captain, it's lunchtime? All right. Hmm. Enjoy your lunch. Uh. 
Let's see. How long is Demon Slayer? Hmm. Also, I watched like the first five minutes of Jujutsu Kaisen before I realized it wasn't about jujitsu. I was like, aw. I thought it would be a grappling anime, which is ironic because Baki the Grappler is right there. But I haven't watched that. And it's very beefy. It's a beef show. Hmm. I don't know where to, where to toss these beans. I think it'd be at the, like, yeah, at the plaza, right? Maybe it hasn't started yet. It's still 8 in the morning. Maybe I gotta give them some time to set up the bean toss. I'm just really excited. Imagine seeing this weirdo, like, running running in circles around the... <laughs> screaming about the bean toss. It's bean toss day! Waking everyone up. kind of on purpose. Jujutsu means curse technique. Ah. Hello there. Gotcha. Jutsu in Japanese is put at the end of stuff to imply a skill or technique and juju means curse. That makes sense. So it's spooky. Oh? Huh? Hmm? Sorry. What is it? Hey. That is. Hmm? Oh, it's 44 episodes and one movie with two more seasons to go. Oh. Still going, huh? Okay. For some reason I thought it was done. Fun fact for my legit nerd cred. For a year before I did Hima, I studied Iado and Bato Ryu Kenjutsu with a katana. Oh, wow. That's pretty nerdy, yeah. <laughs> huh? So that means you could be spinning beats at an anime rave and then go off to like a side stage and spin around and do some cool katana slices. Is that what that means? That's the coolest thing ever. Did you do like sword chops in time with the music? Yeah, do both at once, absolutely. Use use your katana to scratch a disc. Really? Finally gonna get to the bottom of this mystery. The mystery of the slight argument. And yet, no bean toss. Only 8.30. Solving mysteries before noon. This is just what life is like on the farm. Wake up at the crack of dawn. Solve a mystery. Oh yeah, do the one where you, like... Yeah, the sheath and resheath. Um, the record just falls apart. Falls out of its uh, sleeve onto the turntable perfectly. Well. Oh yeah, Odd Taxi, Chainsaw Man. Oh. Ishozuku Reviewers. Oh, is this, uh, what is it? Interspecies res reviewers. It was recommended to me by, uh, by some people a while back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to watch that. Didn't that get taken off of Crunchyroll or something because it was too horny? Oh. 
Hmm. Oh, Iata was the art of the draw cut from the sheath, like in Ghost of Tsushima. Amazing. Did you get to wear the floofy pants? Excuse me? Right. Uh, the end of the mystery was that both the animes were cute. <laughs> this game might be the best game ever made. Another mystery solved. Yeah, he, he actually straight up turned around and said, my work here is done. Wow. God bless video games. God bless them. Is this where the bean toss is? There's a lot of people over here. You guys bean tossing? Yeah, these are the festival grounds. It has to be here, right? Something's going on here. Feeling well? Yes, bean toss. Bean. Here we go. This is what it's all about. The rules for the bean toss contest are as follows. You'll play the part of a demon and the others will chuck beans at you. You earn points for every green bean that hits you. Brown ones earn you even more points. And if a pink one hits you, well, why don't you see what happens yourself? You rack up additional points if you get hit be hit by beans nonstop. So wait, this is not what I expected. In bean toss, I am to get hit by as many beans as possible. Hmm. That's probably you who recommended, uh... And it really borders on hentai. I had to watch it on non-streaming platforms. It was so good, I ordered it for my husband's birthday. Yeah? Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It seems like it's comedic. Like, horny, but also comedic. Which is a good combo. Get beamed and dodge dishes. Alright, that's all there is to it. Alright, where do I go? How do I sign up? I'm gonna be standing on this podium. Can't wait for my bean statue. My beautiful bean medal. Are these the bean throwers? The bean tossers? about that little green bean. That's like getting gnomed, right? There's a lot of spin-offs of getting gnomed. Stick bugged. Well, I guess I wait for the bean festival. I can, I can go to the ruins. Tromp around down there a bit. Maybe after I root around in them dungeons. Oh wait, somebody's coming. You coming to the bean festival, my man? Looks like people are converging on the bean festival. Maybe it's bean time. Now yeah, look at everybody. She's taking her time. I decide if I should spend my time. Going to the dungeon. I'm just waiting for everyone to show up. Right. Big difference with Iado and Kenjutsu is the reliance on kata, specific moves done over and over. I like Hima more because it uses plays as a system where certain situations are shown with multiple variations on how the scenario can play out. It's much more free flowing. Yes. I see. Right. I did some kata when I was in um, when I took jujitsu. Not a whole lot though, because yeah, jujitsu is very much more a free flowing kind of kind of art. Trying to be a little more practical. Yeah, everyone's going to the festival ground. They know when it's bean time. Guess what? It's bean time. I don't know what this little carrot, like the character marked down. Oh, wait. Does this mean there's like a special, a special scenario? A bean festival 
This huh? event? Seems like it. Okay. Hey. I just can't believe the Big Bean Day is here. Oh, you did Wing Chun when you were a kid, Pop Tart? That's awesome. Wing Chun is a really fun art. Feels really cool to do. Candle Jack, thank you for the cheer. Thank you for cel celebrating Bean Time. It's true, we've waited long for this day, for Bean Day, but it's arrived. It's great. Never heard of this series before. It's a pretty good one. I like it. It's got a really fun mix of gameplay types. Should I play the other four Rune Factories? I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that's strictly necessary. No, it might actually be a little challenging right now. They're on previous handhelds, but this one's on Switch. Very approachable. Um. Hmm. Have you played them all? I played one and two. I played one the most. So maybe I'm not maybe I'm not the uh, expert, you know? Maybe there's something plot critical midway through Rune Factory 3. I doubt it though. <laughs> I doubt it. This game starts kind of on its own auspices. Doesn't really reference a bunch of other stuff or make you feel like you're missing out on anything. Right. There's more than 4 even? Yeah. Oh, that's right. There's like a there's one with just like a subtitle or something. Okay, everyone's collected at the fairgrounds, so maybe it's bean time. I want to see this bean game. Yeah, Seraph? Getting the butterflies? That's great. Alright, is everyone here? Everyone ready for bean? Skill up! Just said skill up out loud, that's great. Still a bit early. Hmm. Can I put down money on Mississaugi? Oops. Ah, bean con contest begins 11 a.m. All right. Got an hour. This is two years on the anniversary of my divorce. Talk about the universe having a sense of humor. Ah, uh, okay, all right. I can see why this this is hitting you a little extra hard then. You go through something bad like that, and you start to wonder if you'll ever feel that way again kind of deal, and then, oh, you get the butterflies again. That's that's great. I'm happy for you. No. Yeah. Um. I was in that situation. Oof. Yeah. What's up, please JPEG me? Keep fighting. Good day to you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Hmm. Currently in the situation too. Moved across the country, leaving my girlfriend. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I moved from Dallas to LA to start over. <laughs> it's a fun and volatile time. You kind of rediscover yourself. Figure out how to have fun on your own again. It's a, it's a period where you're allowed to be very selfish, I think. Not to the detriment of others, but just like with your time and with your money. Guess what? It's all about you now. You get to do you in every way. Whatever you want to do on any given day, you can go do it. And that includes doing nothing, if you feel like it. Just like once you learn to really wallow in that, in that feeling again. Yeah, treat yourself, exactly. 
For a long time, I was like, I don't want to do anything without my ex. It's not fun. There was one day, I can't remember exactly what, but I'd like, I'd taken the bus to an arcade and like played a little bit and then walked around Japantown. Then I was like riding the bus back home, listening to music. And I was like, man, today was a really good day. And it was like the first time I felt that when I didn't feel like anything was missing. Uh, and yeah, it took a while, but it's a good feeling and it'll, it'll happen eventually. Or it sounds like it already is for some for Seraph. Well, you're you're off fully on the other side of it. So that's that quest left off with like I'm trying to figure out what was going on. Oh, Great Tree Plaza. Okay. Our motto, my partner and I, is slow is steady, steady is fast. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Like that. No reason to rush anything. Thirty minutes to bean time. Maybe I have to wait until later for the next step in the quest to show up. I'm gonna dip in the dungeon a little bit here while I have while I have some time. those train conductor hats. They are cute. Yeah, they do tend to show up a lot, don't they? I guess I can pop that with a hammer. A little too enthusiastic. Okay, I guess I just need to go after the portals right away. There's no reason not to. Why is there a hole above in the ceiling, but no hole in the ground above? Wait a minute. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh... Magic? It's in another part of the realm? That's a fair question. Chop that up to RPG, RPG tropes. It's 11, 18. Take that. This man needs to toss some beans. <laughs> Are you taking to the bean festival this year? Take it myself, baby. There's only one person hard enough to ride with me to the bean festival, and that's me. Grateful for the support. It's really amazing community you've built. Aw, well, thank you. They're just good people, that's all. Good video games. It's hard to hard to be in a bad mood when good video games are around. Alright. Hard to be in a bad mood when it's bean toss day. Can't wait, you guys. Currently on a bean-related quest in Tina's Wonderlands. Ah, getting bean talk and stereo is an odd sensation. Also, I just realized my herbs are probably grown now. So I can gift herbs to Wolfman. I think they are. Okay, well, I gotta be careful about this. Maybe I should wait until after bean day. I don't wanna, I don't want too much excitement. <laughs> 
I don't want to overstimulate. I have to be careful on Bean Toss Day. Here we go. Sign me up. Yes. I've been waiting. This is what it's all about. This is why we do it. The brown ones are good. Okay, so I want pink and then brown and then green. Pink is the best. Brown is second best. No dishes, though. Get beaned and dodge dishes. Okay. Bean time. Oh! 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 What? What the? Oh, that's a dish. Okay. Have some fun with it. Take them all out. Got this, I think. Have some fun with it. Oh, that's a dish! You kind of look like brown beans. Oh, God, it's kind of hard to get these beans! Bean! Oh. I'm stressing out, you guys. Uh. Oh, the plate started it over? Holy cow. I'm for you. Oh, okay, okay. You have to, okay. The longer you go without a plate, the higher your combo gets and then your score blows up. I could have done better. I missed a lot of beans. Oh, please God, please, please, please. Oh shit! Third place is 7,300? Oh no. I'm not even in the top three. Yeah, I had like 3,300. Ouch. First breaker. Alright. Was it the fox lady? Oh no. Uka. Good job, Fuka. Congratulations. I'm bitter, though. Justice. I'm going to set fire to the village tonight. <laughs> uh, fun fact. You had a score of 3,300 points. Everyone did their very best. Yeah. Okay, well, at least I get a treasure. Get a piece of bread. It's a bread that touched the ground already. Thanks for the bread, everybody. Feeling well? Good work today. Thanks. Everyone's having a nice time. Clapping and laughing. Hard, I see. There's my guy. Have yourself a soak in the bath. Of course, he's plugging his baths. No. Oh, he's such a hard worker. Maybe now's the time. Let me see if I can. Um, <clears throat> Let me see if I can pop one of these herbs out of the ground and give it to him. It says... what does it say? Gift someone a toy herb. I can do that. I can do that right now. For maximum progress. Still gotta go down into those dungeons too. Fresh from the field. Okay, here we go, with this beautiful herb that's not getting eaten. I'm gonna run directly to the festival and give it to my number one special wolf pal. And bread is one hell of a participation award. I want bread. I think I have enough calories to just have bread. Although it's late, I probably shouldn't. Here we go. Give a, here we go. Yes, wait. Oh, I can give it to multiple people. Can I just give it to him again? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Let's check that meter. Uh, 19%. Oh, I have one heart, though. 
One heart. Friendship level, one heart. Good stuff, good stuff. Moving along, moving along. I guess I can sell the rest. What was that? Do I have to turn it in somewhere? Maybe turn it in on the board. Oh, I get a sickle. I'll get a sickle now. Yeah, all right. So if you use it on crops, you'll get seeds from them, but does that mean that, like... Does that mean you get more seeds back than what was planted? Let me see here. I just got one seed. So it just turns a grown plant back into seeds. Maybe sometimes you get more than one? Nope. Sure seems like one every time. Okay. I don't... Oh, that's right, because sometimes your your harvest will change based on timing. So maybe if you have, like, a, a weak harvest, you can just turn them back into seeds and have them grow again. Or if you find better soil that you want to put them in, maybe? Kind of makes sense. Darn it. an article on effective romancing in this game. Does it involve does it involve throwing herbs at somebody until they sleep with me? Go big and strong, okay? Because if so, I'm in the clear. Go big and strong, okay? Watering time. It seems like I'm gonna guess that each character has things that they like, and if you farm up the thing that they like and give it to them, then their meter will grow faster. Because they kinda hint about the things they like and don't like big when you talk strong, with them. Okay? Alright, let's get in that dungeon. I'm curious to clear out this dungeon. Cinnamon rolls are your cheap breakfast? Cinnamon rolls are so good. Why? Like, breakfast kind of has everything. And good versions of it all. Sweet bread, savory meat, coffee, juice, tea. Breakfast is definitely my favorite meal. Not only because of the food itself, but also its positioning in the day. It's so it's so great to enjoy a meal at the beginning of the day and sort of think about the day, prepare for it mentally. Nourish yourself. I know it's normal to talk to your plants, but Rune Boy is straight up yelling at them. He's a very fearsome farmer. Very passionate. <laughs> First friendship, then while progressing through the game, players may notice characters or quests with pink icons that feature certain NPCs. These indicate the character story events which the players will need to go through if they wish to confess their love interest, or confess to their love interest. Um, after completing three story events and reaching a friendship level of at least seven, players can try their luck at confessing. Nice. I love that you can confess right from the drop. You can, you can absolutely embarrass yourself. Let's dig in. Damn it. I ate r withered grass, and I guess I'm poisoned now. Take that, take that. Oh, that's bad. I'm actually like, using quite a bit of health. I think I have an antidote. I'm right at the beginning of the dungeon, though. I should just, I should just go to the back. Shouldn't have eaten that. Really shouldn't. Wow, that is really hurting me a lot. Should not have eaten <laughs> that random grass I found. That was already rotting. Shouldn't have done that. Bad call. That would just be whimsical. I thought it'd be impulsive. That happens. That happens. 
who among us haven't been on a whimsical anime adventure? Just shoveled <laughs> rotting dungeon grass into our mouths. Just, oh, uh, I don't feel good. Uh. No, he's not here. Fuck. Oh, he's at the festival. Oh, what's going to happen? Okay, I guess poison probably doesn't kill you. It just, uh... It just takes you to, like, 1 HP. Hmm. I don't want to use that item. Maybe I can just go to sleep. Sleep it off. But I don't want to... <sighs> Boy, this really put a damper on Bean Day. Yes. Maybe it wears off after a while? I do have that antidote. The modded El This modded Elden Ring gameplay is rad. Yeah, I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Add some color, add some farming mechanics. Yeah, because there's still that story quest um, in the in the town square that hasn't popped yet. Where is it? Oh, I keep scrolling past it. There we go. Yeah. Romance stories. Invest the cryptid, or investigate the cryptid ruins in the Great Tree Plaza with Lucy and the others. I guess I just have to wait for that to show up. Hmm. I think it's time to play the most dangerous game. I'm gonna try to pound this dungeon without taking a hit. I'm gonna be good at it. I'm also kind of curious what happens if you run out of HP. Like, what's the what's the ramification? Yes. I'm leveling up defense because I think the poison keeps hurting me. It's not killing me, so my defense keeps going up. Am I supposed to... They talked about using this ability that lets you capture and even convert monsters to your side. I'm not quite sure how to do that. Maybe I can't do it yet. Yet is a good assumption. Okay. Yeah, it's just a little, a little thrown off because they talked about it. All right. Ha! Ooh, dead. <laughs> Instantly. All right. Let's see what happens. Rune 
boy is down. It's only 320. Just passed out a little bit. Time to rally back. Shotgun and energy drink. Get back in the party. The bean party. There's that bean music. Boink, 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 boink. I wonder if I can use the, the bath yet. No one's there. I thought that if I just stood in the bath that it would start recovering my RP. Actually, I think I think that was just because I was standing still. Yeah, there it goes. Well, I guess there's that loaf of bread. I eat my consolation bread. Oh. Learned how to make a rod. Okay. Aquamarine rod. All right. All right. Cool. Where's my floor bread? I'm just knock all the dirt off of it. Wait. This is also. Oh, okay. That's why bread was the reward. Onigiri. <gasps> okay. I have to go make onigiri right now. I have a I have a cooking table in my room. I kinda wish you could see fast people fast travel in the real world. Just zipping and zopping all over the place. <laughs> Onigiri aka donuts. Jelly donuts. God. Alright, here we go. Onigiri. Oh, I need rice. That's not that's not shocking, I guess. Uh, maybe I can get some at the grocery store. Do they have a grocery store? Check this. I think that's the bakery, though. I think that's where you learn where you eat recipe bread. Hey, what's up, scumbag? Scumbag with a controller. How you doing? smell so good in there. Damn it. Yeah, everybody's gone. That's kind of interesting. Everybody partying and taking the day off means it's actually kind of hard to get my dungeon crawling in. Because nobody will sell me on a giri. Or sell me rice. It's like when it's Christmas Christmas Eve and you're going to visit your parents and then you realize you don't have enough liquor to get through the night. You're like, crap, what place is open so I can buy a full bottle of vodka to make it through this? I need a Christmas miracle. Alright, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get this dungeon again. Let's see how this goes. Now that everyone in this town decided to be lazy. We all had good fun at the bean toss, but really. How long is one expected to celebrate beans? Sorry, I'm just trying to stretch a little bit. I've been sitting here quite a bit today. And all my goddamn taxes. I'm still mad about that. Well, not mad, but... A little mentally drained, I guess. Staring at a lot of numbers. I had... I had calculator open. <laughs> Ah, jeez. Jeez, these guys are these guys are rough. They're all up into my business. Ow! Hey, what's up? Is that Charlie? <gasps> what are you? Yes. 
perfect. Stick. All right. Jam. Oh, damn it! That's the herb I needed. Uh. Try Japanese steamed cheesecake. It's so good. I haven't tried it. I should though. I haven't even. I haven't tried Japanese pancakes either. They're also like super fluffy. Making me hungry. Despite the slice of pizza I allowed myself because I finally finished up a lot of paperwork. I'm doing a pretty good diet a dietary tick today. Yeah, the super poofy pancakes. I'm not quite sure how to make them. Maybe I should try. I imagine you probably pan cook them and then steam them. Bell pepper? Fake green pepper. Look at you, little guy. Oh! Nice. Got some pepper seeds. Can't wait to plant those. Hey, what's up, reroll stats? Good to see you. Top of the evening to you. What is that? Ugh, an old bandage? Just stick that in the pocket. Used band aid. Soiled condom. Jesus, goblins, what are you guys up to? Oh, you can use a rice cooker to make steamed cheesecake. Okay. We have a rice cooker. I'll figure out how to do that. Although there's not a lot of room in my diet for sweets these days, unfortunately. I'm calling it 2022's Destination Abs, and it's going pretty well so far. I have to lose like 30 more pounds. <laughs> but... I'm on track. Oh! Did a, you can do, if, if you do a dodge at the right time, you do like a slow-mo dodge and you can do a super counter. I did that through the arrow just then. Kind of missed the follow-up, but. Oh. Oh. There's different kinds of weapons? Pound them by grabbing them with the A button and repeatedly hitting the B button. I will. What? You can grab and twirl enemies around? Hell yes. Slam them down by grabbing them with A and pressing A. And I got chocolate. This rocks. <laughs> Candle, thank you for the cheer. Thank you for the double cheer, actually. You've motivated me twice as much. To have big time abs. I'm gonna... This is this is rad. Hoo -ha -hoo. Can't wait to beat an enemy out like a rug. Oh! Man, I took that like a champ, though. The guy like look, looked like he sneezed. He's just like, eh. I'm gonna have abs, and then I'm gonna do a ring fit stream wearing a cut off sweatshirt. I'm gonna get so many subs. All the little Twitch ladies are gonna gonna be fanning themselves and passing out. I will take their money and their hearts but leave them alone because my heart belongs to someone else already. I will be Twitch's first Heartbreaker Playboy. Nice. Okay, ribbon, good stuff. I wonder if I can put the ribbon on. Ribbons go in the hair, yes. Wear it to look. Those who wear it look loyal, I suppose. Oh yes, it puts the ribbon in my hair. Oh, I'm ready to beat ass. Beat ass and break hearts. When you get them, will you accidentally show them off every chance you get? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yes. They'll, they'll be falling out all over the place. My abs will be... They won't be contained. I'll cut the, cut the ab windows out of all my shirts. Can I grab them when they're just sitting there? I think you have to knock them down first. I really want to do. Ah. I'm too strong!
Already stole your heart without wearing a crop top? Well, just imagine. Just imagine how amazing it's going to be. Oh! Oh, there it was. Okay, there's a prompt. Uh. Uh. Alright, the fist weapons are... are A+. Uh, if that's true, I did get very lucky with hair, didn't I? I have to... When I when I think about my blessings, I do have to acknowledge that. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Equip. Dash. Hammer. Can you just imagine, though? If I have, if I have these dashing good looks and abs? It's gonna be a force of nature. I have to punch these little fake peppers to get pepper seeds. Well, that was just a full-on pepper. Oh! oh. Pie? A zweihanda? I want to use that, but I'm not going to because I got the... I got the fists. There is no way in heck I'm switching away from him now. Maybe later. Got these cool leather gloves. They're fingerless. I mean... No, wait. No, they're not. Well... They may as well be. That's how cool they are. Abs are hard, bro. My daily workouts, I do crunches, crunchies and sit-ups, and I'm relatively good fighting shape. Yeah, it's... I mean, my understanding is that abs are largely... It's all body fat. You just have to be skinny. So they pop out. Which I'm not. Never have been. So it'll be interesting. Slam! Oh, sick! Doing Dragon Ball throws? Hell yeah. This game has fishing and Dragon Ball throws. Oh! And Grim Reapers. Arg! Oh. Okay. Dodge an enemy's attack, pressing R. Okay, for speed and dash attack. Ooh, a little early. Beat you up, ghost. Yeah, you're confused, huh? You don't like what's about to happen. Swing around. Excellent. You seem like a skinnier guy. God, no. I'm a thick boy. Maybe just from my, my head and neck I seem skinnier, but I got a pretty wide frame. Don't forget to watch your RP. Ooh. I was I was forgetting to watch my RP actually. Thank you. And I'll take a little break. Uh, take a little stretch break. Ay ah. Yeah. Man, why is it so 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 tight? Bah. My figure leads people to believe I'm a medium-sized shirt when I'm, in fact, a large man. Yeah? If you have, like, appropriate, uh, what's the word, proportions. We tried swimming, good cardio. I mean, I have. I don't really have access to a pool, though. Now, for right now, I, um, most of my exercise comes from Ring Fit Adventure, which is not the most intense workout, but it's pretty good. It's just enough to keep my heart going. I'm focusing on diet so much right now that I'm not really looking to just burn a ton of calories. I'm just really trying to hit certain calorie goals in terms of intake. Just trying to eat less. Uh, which is, is the trick. It's the trick. I mean, an hour of swimming would probably help me get into the negatives, get into the deficit, but... It's way easier to just not eat than to uh, try to burn it all off. That's something I've learned many times over. Is Skinny Jack the thing? Sure, yeah. That is your... your common anime protagonist, basically. Yes! Toy hammer. Is that a weapon, or is that a tool? Also, this is giving... This game is giving me weird flashbacks to a Dreamcast... Oh, is this... Not timed, is it? Ow. 
to a Dreamcast RPG called Evolution. Like, for some reason, the hammer, the, like, the ruins, the music even, the combat kind of reminds me of that. I want to wear that instead of a cute bow. Difficulty 24. Huh? Upgrade material. Maybe the difficulty is like to craft it. Big old book. I don't know what it is, but I'll worry about it later. Yeah, I showed that fish. Power bomb that fish. Even the atomic buster. You know, kings and shouldn't let your hype bother you. You can't control genetics. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I would love to just spout off all the all the wonderfully uh inspiring things like it doesn't matter what people think it matters how you feel and to some degree that's true all right to some degree that's true you can you can be good with yourself and good with what you've got but i don't know having having spent a lot of my life overweight nice there's just a, a raw and unfortunate truth about the way people treat each other in this world oh alvin if you want the it's actually just rune if you want to uh see the uh, sponsored link maybe give it a little click sponsor would really like that but, but yeah uh i think it's i think it's possible to like make your peace with things and be really happy and feel good about yourself but also not delude yourself about sometimes the way people can be you know it's unfortunate but it exists Whoa. it was weird the first time in my life i i've talked about this before on stream but like the first time in my life that I lost a significant amount of weight, people were just straight up nicer to me and I could tell. Like, people would look me in the eyes and smile. And it actually made a difference. Like, I was like, man, people are treating me like I'm a human. This is weird. Um, it's a shame because there are people who live very blessed lives. They look a certain way, they sound a certain way, they just happen to carry themselves in a certain way. And people like that and want to do favors for them and want to give them stuff. And they live their entire lives that way, not knowing that they're just, they walk through life in a way easier way uh, than other people do. And there's no way you can expect them to know that. There's no way you can expect them to know what it's like for anyone else either. No one knows what it's like in somebody else's shoes. That's why they make all those sayings about it. But uh, weight is one of those things where you can kind of see what it's like from both perspectives. Uh, if you live, if you walk through life as an overweight person, and then if you're able to find a way to lose a lot of weight, um, if that's what you want to do, I guess. I mean, I would, I would always argue for people to be happier and healthier, and I think being a healthy weight is part of that. But yeah, um, the the thing that really sucks, uh, the the utter tragedy. You know, I'm I'm lamenting about this as a white guy, but you know, my best case still tops out pretty high. <laughs> if I can, if I can be a shredded dude. That's a pretty... People People like those in this world. But there are classes of people that just get dunked on all the time, which sucks. People just kind of are shitty, almost as a rule. Look at this, look at this big old ripped dog.
I guess, I guess my takeaway with that is, uh, and again, I might, I might be speaking from a, well, I know I'm speaking from a place of some privilege here, but, um, ooh. oh, wow, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Okay. This boss fight's actually going to be a little, a little rough. Um, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to drink one of these. Okay. <laughs> Look at that big death straining stack of, of items. But, uh, not necessarily it can always get worse kind of sentiment, but there are things about each individual person on this planet that is likable. Everyone has qualities. It's just a question, question of finding and accentuating those qualities. It took me a long time to make my peace with that, to be honest. I spent... I guess I was reared on too many uh, hyper... hyper-encouraging self-esteem-building narratives as a kid, where I was just like, I refuse to acknowledge all the base ways that human beings can be shitty towards each other. And uh, as part of that, I think I was just like, I'm just gonna be myself and not... not change who I am for the sake of other people. But... and you can do that. You can do that. But your path through this life like, it's... I, I guess it's more more a series of compromises. Your path to this life can be lubricated if you understand the ways people are dumb about the way that they perceive others and the way they treat them. Some amount of playing the game, I guess, is what I'm saying. Putting coins in the meter, man. Sometimes it pays dividends. Okay. Oh, he's up. What was he? What, did he pass out? What was that? <laughs> I was like, he, no, he didn't pass. He's not dead yet. Yeah, he was having a nap, I guess. Oh, maybe that's the thing where you can like try to capture him. He got temporarily knocked out. Well, that's probably it. Oh, whatever, he's dead now. That must be why you can refight the bosses, yeah. Huh. Oh, Bruce with the raid. Hello, gooses. Thank you, Bruce's gooses. I don't know. Have you seen? <coughs> oh my God. Oh, I hope I'm not allergic to goose feathers. Hi, everybody. I'm playing Rune Factory Five. Very anime game. I'm actually being sponsored by it, so... I'm living the dream. I'm sponsored by an anime game. Can you believe it? I'm actually... Also, not gonna be streaming for too much longer here. Um... Time for me to get some foods. I just cleared a dungeon, too. You guys came in right at the end. Never heard of this game. Uh... It's kind of like Dark Cloud. Maybe a little bit. It's got some dungeons, but it's maybe more like Stardew Valley. I think is the point of comparison. It, it actually predates Sturdy Valley as a series. Uh, have you played the others? Comp ca wait, the others compared it to? I mean, the other. Wait. Compared it. I played other Rune Factory games, and I played a lot of Harvest Moon. Gosh. The reason I never really got into Stardew Valley is because I really got into Harvest Moon back in the day. And I was like, well, I don't trust myself with that. But the actual answer is I do need to play Stardew Valley. <gasps> maybe it, maybe a Stardew Valley subathon. I was talking about this earlier. I'm kind of due for a subathon. I, kn I know Bruce does them a lot too. But it's been a, like a month and a half since I've done one. I think I'm going to do Fallout New Vegas. Yes. Because uh, I never finished New Vegas. And people really like that game. What? And then people can backseat the shit out of me. Too, so that'll be exciting. I think it'll be, yeah, Fallout New Vegas and then more audiobook performances from the Doom novels. I'm on, I'm on book two, where Doom Guy and Arlene built a rocket ship to fly from Phobos, which was put in orbit above Earth, down into Salt Lake City, where they joined a Mormon commune who all the characters agreed made some really good points. Um, and then set off on a mission to take down a force field to allow a secret Mormon strike force to get in and attack the demons. Yeah. 
that, those books are unhinged. This is only halfway through the second of four Doom novels, so. Yeah, I feel like Stardew might be too, too relaxed. <laughs> but you said you missed that? I uploaded it to YouTube. No. Um, just make sure you, uh, just make sure you catch the next subathon. Are you reading these on stream? Yeah. And, and performing. I'm, I've settled into voices for most of the characters. Mormon president, I tried to do a shitty Reagan for. I'm, I'm slipping into the Simpsons school of a uh, of voice performance where I just do crappy, per <laughs> crappy impersonations for everybody. And then it's so bad, it just becomes its own voice. Oh, Martin, yeah, I'm glad you... I'm glad you joined in. Oh, yeah, that's true, Spirits. There is a damaged 14-year-old Mormon sniper who is totally cool. She's also a hacker. She's a hacker sniper. I don't think they ever explicitly described her as wearing a, a hoodie, but I'm pretty sure she's wearing a hoodie. I'm gonna be very upset if she's not wearing a hoodie at some point. Skull Cavern and Stardew was not relaxed, yeah? Okay. Okay, hammer's another. This is pleasing, this is like really calming music. Fingerless gloves. I'm gonna assume she's wearing those. Oh, am I full? No, that could happen. All right. I guess it can. Weird. Started reading Yahtzee Croshaw's Zero Punctuations book called Jam. It's about a man eating jam covering a city. Really makes me think of Shaun of the Dead, but with jam, not zombies. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Sounds like a cool setup. Cool might be a little strong. Sounds like an interesting setup. You played Legend of the Dragoon. Yeah, Austin. It's uh, it's actually kind of sur surprising. I've, I feel like I've heard more people... Like more people have brought up Legend of Dragoon recently. Kind of out of nowhere, too. I feel... I feel I guess I always felt like that was one of those games people just forgot about. Yeah, I really like that game. I like any JRPG that has a like, uh, like a rhythm or input skill base to the combat. Like you have to hit you have to hit the buttons on time, or there's some way to do slightly more damage by like tapping out buttons correctly. I like hitting buttons. Needs a prequel for sure, even a remake. Yeah, what studio made Legend of Dragoon? Was it Japan Studio? I don't remember. Cypher Hunk. Thank you very much for the cheer. Yeah, a lot of people have, have suddenly remembered... Yeah, it was Japan Studio. Okay, they got closed recently. I guess they got folded into a Sobo Studio, but yeah. Uh... I guess, yeah, that's that's a brand that Sony's sitting on, I guess. They could just make another one of those. I, I feel like there's been this this renaissance, this resurgence of JRPGs that are sort of produced at the, like, double-A level. Um, I thought Fantasian was just phenomenal. And there's all the Trails in the Sky series, uh, Dragon Quest. Well, I guess Dragon Quest was, like, triple-A. But still, um, Sony seems to have lost any appetite for making double-A downloadable games, you know? They don't really do like Wipeout or PSN games anymore. It's all the big AAA stuff. Um, I mean, even even like Returnal was a big scale up for Housemark con compared to what they usually make. So I would like to think that Sony still has the appetite to make like $20 downloadable PSN games, but they just don't seem to want to do it anymore. That's the only way I could imagine a Legend of Dragoon working these days. Big Dead's are just out of touch. I don't think I don't think it's so much that. I just think it's the economy of of Sony's software production. The rate of return is so much higher on making a Last of Us versus making gosh, Unfinished Swan, something like that. I think I think they just realized that it just for time invested for the turnaround and for what they do and what they do well. Just uh, sticking with the big, big, big games is what they want to do, which is fine. They're good at that. They're awfully good at it. So I am not complaining. 
The more big, expensive AAA Sony games, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Huh? We want more Legend of Dragoon over more Breath of Fire? Well, Capcom, Capcom is not touching Breath of Fire. Didn't they make a mobile? They made some mobile game branded Breath of Fire recently. Uh... That's right, you have to equip it. And Easy does sprinkle it. it. Go big and strong, okay? Yeah, Capcom doesn't seem to have any interest in making JRPGs. I guess they're still working on Dragon's Dogma 2? Maybe. Hope it comes out okay. Yeah, Firecloud. Capcom's not nope. not developing a lot of their old properties. But they're making money. They're doing okay. Like, I would rather they make money and stay in business than, than go out of business trying to, like, make anyone care about Breath of Fire. Or is Dragon's Dogma 2 is this year, but I'm skeptical? Maybe. Jeez, maybe. Yeah. They're, they're, they're on a roll with Resident Evil as far as I'm concerned, so... Eh. But Dragon's Dogma was a hit. Why haven't they continued it yet? I don't think it's sold super well. Oh, we got full anime. Look at her. Isn't she anime? Hmm? Your eyes are as big as Jolly Ranchers. Do I get to pick? Do I get like a battle, a battle buddy? Now then, Lady Beatrice. Really irks me because it sold better in USA than Japan. Not saying we hold priority, but with all the big US titles, I'd love to see more. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind that. So you farm on the dragon? Yes. I do have a farm dragon. I haven't planted anything on the dragon yet, uh, but excuse me. I will someday. Don't your hand. Apparently, things grow really well on the dragon. Oh, of course. Thank you for your help. The soul sphere in the capital gives a reading just by standing in front of it. Oh, we're dropping some lore, huh? I have amnesia, by the way. In case you didn't assume that, given that this is an anime game. my lady oh okay reroll says as far as non-japan is concerned sony and capcom don't focus much on anything but big titles that have already been seen in japan they have dozens of indie releases that will never get translated and are usually not really good that's a good point that is a good point there is there are there are things that go on in the japanese market that yeah stay in that market because the cost of translating and localizing can be a screen for projects that aren't projected to earn that much money. Well, thank you for the courteous introduction. I am second in line to the throne. Koei Tecmo has the title of double ARPGs now. I remember playing some mobile games from Chemco, which is a name I hadn't seen in a long time, like in the, in the mid 2010s. There were some very, uh, what's the word? Very like right down the line JRPGs for mobile. Uh, what is, what is Koei Tecmo up to in terms of RPGs these days? I associate Koei Tecmo with Omega Force games, like all the all the Warriors games, and Neo. Wait, ba no, that is yeah, that is Neo. Bandai Namco is Souls. Saracen's Lament. Thanks for the resub. It's good to see you again. She's a lady, nothing more. She's a lady. Mo wo wo. They're all ladies. Grown adult ladies. 
Hmm. His hair is so swept. Everyone has really on point highlighting in this game. The Kingdom of Nora. I am Her Highness's royal attendant, Sir Reinhardt. Due to certain circumstances, we have disguised her identity and come to live quietly in this town. There is only so much I can do alone, so as you have the field captain's endorsement, I may ask for your assistance from time to time. Oh, more side quests. All right. Good time to mention this is a sponsored stream. I must also ask for your discretion in this matter. The townsfolk must not know... If this anime is appealing to you, you can use the rune command for a sponsored link to learn more about the game. Client would like if you would click on that, but you certainly don't have to. My apologies. Your phone's on the couch. It's turned off. You got a bowl of chips on your tummy. I cannot disclose them. Don't let me get in the way. Even if I could, I am certain that the knowledge would only bring you hardship. Oh, thank you, Bean. Now then, we will take our leave. Call on me again. It would be nice to have a friend around my age. It's a little fly, like. <laughs> Is the box still mad at me? No, oh, okay. Uh, I don't think I have enough for another festival. Uh, I need a thousand. Oh, I almost have enough for another festival, though. Dang. Take back hats. Now they're mine again. Is this a JRPG or, or more? Or something more, sorry. It is it is a JRPG cross farming sim. Yeah, RPG with base building. It's kind of a good way to describe it. You have a patch of land here uh, to farm up some crops. You sell the crops to get money to buy swords and armor. Um, then you take that so those swords and armor into dungeons to do quests, basically. Holy cow! Uh, I guess a lot of shit backed up on the dragon. A lot of rocks and shit up here, Jesus. Don't you ever, like, do it a little twirl? You can just, like, flip over and call it a day. I guess I can get a lot of rocks and wood up here. Yeah, there's also a wolfman to romance. He runs with the baths. Date cute anime princesses. There's a lot of animes to date. Um, and this game has same-sex relationships for the first time in the series, which is great. Because, like I said, there's a wolfman. But there are many, many fine animes. You can peruse them. This is the one I'm targeting here, wolfman. I'll go see him in a second. Riker's alright. He's very pouty. Okay, I guess if they have smiles, you can't, you can't romance them. That's how you can tell the difference. Okay, that's why, yeah. Terry, unromanceable. Unfortunately. Think of it as an HD Stardew Valley. Yeah, that's that's a good way to boil it down. I know that some people take exception to that, given that this series actually predates Stardew Valley. It's it's interesting. When Stardew Valley hit, I was like, oh, it's like Rune Factory. So, you know. a dragon girl. I don't think... I don't think I've seen a dragon girl yet. There are wolf girls. There's like a fox girl. They call... There's actually a name for like the half animal people. I can't remember what it is. Is she a romance option? With a lady I just talked to? I think so. Maybe not though. Uh, oh yeah, I should check the board and see if there's quests. Oh, maybe not. Eh. Why is she wearing boxing gloves? What? Why are they all wearing boxing... What? I guess they all have weapons? They all have gear. That's interesting. Huh. Watering time. Watering time. I wonder if you can take them into dungeons or something. Dread Wonderlands yet. Actually, yeah. I played that a little bit with Bruce and Sea Nanners and Gassy Mexican. Um, on Monday. 
I had a decent time. Uh, it's you know it's Borderlands. It's Borderlands again. There's a couple of interesting like fun little gimmicks that go along with a the theme, which is nice. Oh yeah, King Sarah and the hard netting with a take care of your own cat girl page. Ah, the internet's great, isn't it? Here we go. Got some food at the general store. Okay, you got it. Hello, dear. Ah. <laughs> I always love the JRPGs where they have like a little bark when they first when they first introduce themselves. Ah. I guess I'm really thinking of like it's always the battleship minigame operator in Wind Waker. Wind Waker was one of the... F well, I, guess, I guess Ocarina of Time did it too. Where you talk to NPCs and they just kind of grunt at you. Brr. 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 Love that shit. Uh, oh yeah. Store. That game sucked, yeah. Sploosh. Or whatever. It's hearing the really, really long sound effects and it takes forever. But you have to play it because there's a heart piece or something. Wait, she gave me a quest to go buy something from her store? Store. That's what this is, right? Maybe I have to wait for it to open. That might be the case. Keep forgetting that that's an aspect of this game, is like the clock. Didn't she say general store? She might have. Indeed, she might have. Is this only on Switch? I think it is. I think it is only on Switch so far. Buy some food at the general store, switch between shelves. Okay. I thought I remembered something about... Do they all have book? They have book icons now. Why are they all talking about Beatrice? I guess they're all talking about the new members in town. I offer you my sincerest thanks. Um... We're not divulging Lady Beatrice's true identity to anyone. You think we'll get more Zelda ports this summer now that Breath of the Wild 2 got delayed? Um, probably, well, maybe. I don't think they're going to rush anything. Um, because Breath of the Wild 2 got delayed, but it's still in their fiscal year. So if, if they delayed it after March 2023, then yeah, they would have to pull out some kind of rush port. Um, and Nintendo loves just sitting on those in case they don't have any releases for the holiday. They'll probably have something this, like, November, December, now that it's not Zelda. And it might be a port collection or something like that. Maybe Wind Waker HD. I could that they like sitting on that stuff. Sometimes I wonder if Nintendo has yes. just, like, a stack of, of Switch-ready HD remasters, just, like, three or four deep, yes. that they can just bust out whenever they have a gap in their release schedule. I still don't think they have a gap. Financially speaking, they don't have a gap. Um, they do, They do, however, need some kind of, like, holiday release, though. So, yeah, I'm curious what that's going to be. We probably won't hear about that until E3 or slightly after E3, though. Nintendo is very surgical about the way that they announce, promote, and then release games. They never really market more than one game at once, which is pretty smart. Which means they never really announce more than one game at once. They announce a game, and then it's... Uh, and then that's what they promote until it comes out. I guess they just released Kirby. So now they're about due for another Direct, I guess. Oh, Pokemon? Uh, yeah, I guess. Jesus Christ. I gotta stop making those. <laughs> God, slow down. Uh... 
a busy day yesterday. How do I buy something? What the heck? That's the only shelf I can interact with. Is something amiss? Yeah. <laughs> Not wrong, but when every single one they put out is a hit, even when it's bad, why would they stop? No, it's it's a fair point. Working hard. A very efficient business. And if if the consumer base is happy and they keep buying the games, then yeah, you're right. There's no harm, no foul. I have no I have no great attachment to Pokemon as a franchise, so the middling quality of those games doesn't offend me in any in any regard. And if people if people like them, all right, why not? Why not? Make more of them. I encourage it. Even though I just didn't. Bread puns. Buy some food at the general store. Switch between shelves. That's gotta be the general store. I just don't... Is it not open yet? What says general store more than an item sack? I actually kind of liked Arceus. Arceus was fun. At least it was possible to lose a fight. Jeez. Sword and Shield was was brain dead. I couldn't I couldn't There's just nothing going on in that game. Hmm. It almost feels like they want you to pick up items and then carry them to the counter, but I can't do that anywhere. There's no food to, to buy. I'm gonna go back to the food the bread store. Fork and spoon would be sick. You want me to go to the fork and spoon thing? Watering time. Watering time. Maybe that's where. I think that's the general store. Used to love Pokemon. It seems like they turn them out for profit and that's it. Yeah. I mean, some of the games do try something, but they only kind of half try it. Hmm. Pokemon, Pokemon Fork and Spoon would be a sick generation. Yeah, and then they they could like re-release it later with a special knife edition. That might be too uh that might be too violent though. <laughs> Pokemon Fork and Spoon. Mashing B makes me water. Just keep spilling water everywhere. This is how I voice my displeasure that I can't buy items. It's 10 a.m. The item store's got to be open. General store, yeah. 986p. Why isn't anyone at the counter? And she's the one running this store. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I had to talk to her the whole time. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's rice. Which I can make an onigiri with. Thank you for your business. Do come again. Bang, complete. Wanna make this onigiri? I've been excited about this. To have I can't wait to smooch that wolf man. It's gonna take a while. I'm getting a little distracted with my cooking, but I'm gonna smooch him. I will. Maybe rub my rub my hands over his furry tummy. Maybe. Yes. 
can't tell you how happy I am that there's a there's a custom animation and cooking jingle for the item you're making. <laughs> Shades of Monster Hunter. What a jaunty onigiri packing tune. Can get away with going yeah whenever you do normal stuff anywhere. Okay, watering time. Watering time. You can still do it though, and should still do it. Like if you're picking up groceries or something. Zuria. Smash rocks, boulders, and hammer. Collect material, stones, and store them in the appropriate box. All right. Ah, got another hammer. I think hammers ever break, so I just have multiple hammers now. Nice. Ah well. Where have they Oh, it does turn into a stone. Does that mean I can chop the sticks and they turn into lumber? Maybe. Ha! It does. Yeah, coolers. This is a new Rune Factory. Rune Factory 5, available now on your Nintendo Switch. Hashtag sponsored. This is a sponsored stream. You want a link to it? Use that Rune command. Give that sponsored link a little tippity tap. Or not. It's fine too. Ooh. Go fishing. Fuck yes. Yes! what I'm waiting for. Yes! Oh, fishing pole! Fish shadows in the ocean or whatever. Equip that fishing pole and press B. Alright. Yes! 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 Oh, I see it. Oh, shoot. I'm out of inventory space. Yeah, now we're gaming. We're big time gaming. This game is taken off. I'm cooking. I'm fishing. I don't want to put that in there, but I have to like move stuff over. Okay. What any of this stuff is used for? Weapons I can sell. I guess you can't put mushrooms in the box. Maybe they go bad or something. Alright. Yes! Fishing time. <laughs> yeah, Elden Ring could use a fishing minigame. Every single game, every last one that doesn't have a fishing minigame could use a fishing minigame. That is the... <laughs> just love, love walking. I love it. That's a big fish, though. There. Hop! Come and get it, fishies. It. No. Yeah. Yeah. Skill up. I say that every time I catch a fish. That was delightful. I feel fulfilled. I feel calm. I'm like missed up for a hiya! <laughs> yeah. Zuria! Wheeling in that fish. Cool. Oh wow, look at all this! So many activities. 
Chip a pike, harvest a potato. Build a monster barn. Give a giant crystal to a farm dragon. Use your spell seal. Oh, there's that thing. Okay. Jump down the wanted monster. Put some grass in the fertilizer bin. Okay. So yeah, all right. It's starting to open up a little bit. It's like you can farm, you can go into dungeons, you can fight monsters, or you can do it all. Cool. Well, that's Rune Factory 5. I think I'll wrap up the stream there. Got to do a little bit of everything. Got to bean toss. Didn't do so well, but you know, it was a scouting run. Oh, is Wolfman in the, uh, yes. Wolfman's in the baths. Let's go talk to Wolfman. I think, I wonder if he'd like onigiri. I made him a rice ball. Let's see what he thinks of it. I bet he's gonna like it. I bet he's gonna compliment it. He'll probably say that it, he likes it and then it's good. Let's see here. Move from this menu. Alright, look at this giant rice ball, man! Yo. I'm giving it to you! There, see? Look at how much he's smiling. Ah! Oh! He knows it's homemade! Take this! He's giving me a present! <gasps> he gave me a rack of ribs? What the hell? Wait, what is this? What is this? What did you give me? What is that thing? What are you? Claws? Crimson Claw. Oh, it's a oh it's an upgrade material, okay. Pack plus twenty-eight. Hopefully, I could put that on my gloves, maybe. And I have claw gloves. And then I have a little piece of him with me at all times. Do you think those are his claws? He, like, gave me his fingernail clippings? <laughs> yeah, his cut fingernails, exactly. And I just... <sighs> I love you, Murakumo. You and your wolf bishy will be great together. We will. Yes! And have me a nice little soak. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. If you suck around from the Bruce Raid, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you again to the sponsor for sponsoring this gameplay. Rune Factory 5, it's got it all. Wolfmen, Onigiri, fishing, dungeon crawling, a... <laughs> You can level up bathing. I'm level. I'm a level four bather, so that's good. Really, truly, it's got a name. Name one thing this game doesn't have because it has. I'm a level sixteen walker already. So, just bought it. Nice coolers. Appreciate that. I'm sure the sponsor does too. As a gamer, I refuse to level bathing. Yeah, gamer percent in Rune Factory Five is finishing with level zero bathing. That's how. Re that's how the real ones do it. But yeah, thank y'all. Thank y'all again for watching. Uh, I should be streaming tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Bruce and I will be doing some more co-op Elden Ring. But it'll be a bit later again because uh, I uh, got to write Inside Games, and we'll see. Hopefully, there won't be any huge snags with uh, with tax filing because that might blow out the rest of my day too. And then I think Bruce and I have some. Uh, oh yeah, we got to record a podcast. That's right, because we hit a Patreon goal. So. We're going to reboot, uh, talk to the internet. Uh, Bruce has some ideas, actually. He's going to he's gonna up produce the podcast a little bit, so I'm really excited to see what he comes up with. So exciting stuff ahead. Uh, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching this stream. And I should be back tomorrow playing more sweet video games. So I'd appreciate it if you come back for that. Now, thoughts on Windows 11? I haven't used Windows 11 at all yet. Um, I'm kind of scared to. For the first time, my PC like has to be stable. Usually I can I don't mind dicking around with it and trying out new stuff, but if my PC gets effed up or if like I can't use Premiere or something like that, it's a serious problem. I haven't really read about anything that Windows 11 offers that really excites me. Usually I just go for it because I like trying out new stuff, but I'm a little more hesitant this time. All right, thanks again for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a really nice evening, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. ご存じ